Bird and Darren Goldspink. And our three alone match of the day is underway from Princess Park. A high centre bounce. The umpire spotted a centre square infringement and the first kick and the free kick of the game goes to Fitzroy Sartori. From the centre, kicks up towards Lynch at centre half forward. Archer goes to punch, gets into the back of a player. It would have been no North Melbourne free kick. The advantage has been paid to North Melbourne, which becomes a disadvantage because Stevens has tackled there and uh, the free kick goes to Fitzroy. Kicked by Wine. It's mothered off the pack there. Good work by North Melbourne who worked the ball through the middle through Stevens. The kicks into Roberts. Roberts recovers, gets the handball backwards. Dwyer there, handballing to himself. He's still at centre half back. Kicks the ball up in the air. The thump comes from Zanotti. Knocks the ball up towards centre half forward. Fitzroy go forward. Picked up by McGregor, the butcher. Goes long in towards full forward. Lynch goes back and takes a beauty two metres out directly in front. Now Crocker, where's Longmire playing, boys? Crocker is down Longmire's full, full forward. forward. Okay, Longmire full forward. Tell you what, the body language meter is just about going through the ceiling. The Lions are incredibly pumped up. James Manson ran 40 metres down from the goals to give young McGregor a bit of a pat and a well done. And he wasn't the only one. There are about eight of them surrounding him saying, good on you. Ex-teammate uh, James Manson and McGregor at Collingwood. Now Lynch towards the Robert Heatley stand end. Three metres out. Comes in for the first score of the match. Drop punts it and puts it through. And Fitzroy on the board at Princess Park. A goal to Fitzroy. Kicked by Alistair Lynch. And what a bad will play. Stan, he plays everywhere, doesn't he? Yes, and uh, this week uh, they got him up forward. Last week they tried to save the game uh, on Lockett. And then uh, when they were in trouble, they threw him up forward. But, gee, uh, the body language is right, as you mentioned, Tim. Also, interesting enough, you know, from both sides, within the first 15 seconds, there were three superb smothers off kicks that would have gone downfield. That's what I mentioned about these sides, how competitive they are in those areas. They really are just outstanding sides, and they are um, really should be complimented their coaches on what they get out of them. Hawking on Longmire and Elliot on McAdam with McCarthy lining up on uh, the champion Carey. Now the big uh, Russian gets the knock. Ischenko into half forward. Carey onto the bouncing ball. McCarthy gets him off the ball though with a well placed hip and shoulder and parks his body over it eventually forcing a ball up at the 50. Playing in bright sunshine and the weather outlook just for the moment looks good. The wind blowing across the ground down towards the scoreboard forward pocket, but uh, more laterally than that. North, if anything, barely favoured. Ischenko gets the tap, but uh, Fitzroy managed to come away with the ball. High kick uh, up and down on the one spot. Covered just enough territory for Roberts to be paid a mark as he caught it on the way down. He kicks it a full forward. Longmire is a chance. Can't mark. It looks as though the Fitzroy defence has it covered. Sartori sees it through for a behind. So the Lions are one goal and the Kangaroos one behind after three minutes of play at Prince's Park. Now the kick in by Hawking comes out wide and finds Elliott on the halfback flank on our broadcast or John Elliott stands side of the ground. The kick on the bounce trapped by line but the boundary line comes up quickly and Blakey says that uh, maybe Ross Lyon didn't make too much of an effort to try and keep it in and ran it over. The Lions with the first goal through Lynch and a behind to North Melbourne from the boundary throw-in. Knocked down by Broderick. McGregor is there. Supposed to have a bit of pace, but Rock out paces him. Handball across to Stevens. By hand gives it to Laidley. At centre-half forward. Laidley goes long down towards Longmire. The spoil came from, uh, from Hawking behind. Knocks the ball outside 50. McAdam is there. Tries to knock it out to Allison, who knocked it the wrong way. The ball picked up by Wine. Handball across to McCarthy. Here come the Lions up towards centre-half forward. Here's a chance for Zanotti. He's about 45 metres out. Runs outside 50. A centering kick to line lurking at centre half forward. And he's got it about 45 metres out directly in front. So Ross Line kicking into a breeze, but he's got the shelter of the Heatley and Carlton Social Club. And the breeze, a fairly hefty one, but uh, as we saw in the reserves, a lot of scoring done at the end to which uh, North is scoring in the first term, but uh, plenty of scoring to the, the members' end as well. Ross Lyon keeps it low, drives it in towards goal and has put it through. A goal to Fitzroy, their second. We played four minutes here at Princess Park. Score check on three of those match of the day. Fitzroy, two goals. North Melbourne, one behind, one point. They haven't started at Geelong yet. Let's check the other venues. David at Waverley Park. Just uh, scores level here at the moment. Uh, no score at the three and a half minute mark. Phil Pennell. Good work, Swan. You sounded well prepared. <laughs> Essendon lead by seven points at the four and a half minute mark at the MCG. One one seven. Brisbane Bears zero. Ball back in midfield. 
Ball up coming up and Fitzroy on fire early. Two straight goals. North Melbourne one behind and the Kangaroos are going to know they're in a footy match. Ischenko beats Manson. Down to Blakey. Well tackled by former teammate Ross Lyon who goes in hard with the hip and shoulder but he crashed into the back of Larkin who takes a free kick for North. Pokes a little kick up to half forward for a high marking forward. Carey falls over. Is awarded a free kick. Play on. Open goal for Longmire and he drives it through for North first. So everything went wrong for the Fitzroy defence there. It seemed that McCarthy maybe clipped Carey's heels or got him in the back. Carey lurched forward. Free kick paid, but at the back of the pack, Longmire ran onto it and was allowed to keep going. Fitzroy, two goals. North, 1-1-7. I didn't like that. I really believed that uh, possibly a free kick. It was unintentional, but it was a free kick there. But when you're 35 metres out from goal, the player should go back and have a kick. But, uh, gee, I tell you what, Fitzroy, have they come out sparking? And they're playing pretty good football at the moment. So it's going to be a very good game. Forward pocket. Sorry, Crackers. Yep, Manson's, Manson's uh, back in the middle now to uh, contest the centre bounce with Eschenko. Up they go. Eschenko wins. The first possession for the middle comes out of the pack. Picked up by Armstrong. It came from Broderick. Armstrong's kicked the half forward. Laidley collision down there. Loose ball. Paxman goes in. Tries to nudge the ball out. He does, but it goes to Ross Smith. Good poise, Smith. To go weave through the Laidley's pack. Laidley's hurt. Laidley's hurt. Kicks the ball out towards the university wing. The ball out there towards uh, Seacamp. Number three with his socks down. The ball knocked out of the pack to Roberts. Runs up towards 50 on the half forward line. Goes longy towards goal. Longmire and McAdam but it's out of bounds on the full. It beat them both. A free kick to Fitzroy, left uh, back pocket at the main scoreboard end. What's happened? Is he OK, Tim? Yes, he looks to be all right. Hawking takes the free for Fitzroy, kicks to half-back, and McGregor takes the mark. Gets the handball across to Elliot. Elliot from half-back, around the wing, line out number two to one. Scholl is there over his shoulder. In comes Zanotti, applies the tackle well and truly after Scholl had dispossessed himself of the ball. Picked up by Zanotti. Short pass in towards half-forward to Manson, who marks. Gets the handball on the guard. Go, a guard goes towards the goal area. Almost a North Melbourne free kick. It's come off the pack. And it might have been nudged through by Baldwin, even kicked through, but it hit the post anyway, says the goal umpire are behind to Fitzroy. Seven minutes on three of those match of the day, first term, and it's the Roys by a goal, 2-1 to North Melbourne, one goal one. Ross Smith puts it back into play. Long ball down the middle for Ischenko. Two spoilers against him. Fitz, fist of Fitzroy's way. Broderick runs onto it. Time to steady from inside the 50, and he kicks a goal. No! It hit the inside of the post. Satori shepherded it, did a good job of holding out the defence, but the ball clipped the inside of the post on the way through. So two posters to the Lions, they're 2-2, two -two. North Melbourne 1-1, one -one, seven and a half minutes first term at Princes Park. Now the kick in by Ross Smith, still sun shining at Princes Park, but heavy cloud across to our south. No doubt uh, Bobby's getting that down at Geelong. The kick in by Ross Smith. Oh, it's a big kick wide of the centre. Comes off the pack and taken by Fitzroy's Boyd. Kicks in towards centre half foot. Fitzroy player, I think, taken to the ground, but no free kick. Through the pack comes McGregor. 30 metres out, a left foot snap, but he sprayed it completely. And it's gone to the right. North Melbourne player down hurt at centre half back. And a free kick to North to be taken by Fairley in the back pocket. Ross Smith in trouble, but he's getting up now. Kick by Fairley, kicks up towards the half-back flank. Where there's a big pack up. No one looked like marking the ball. Rock at the spill. Can't break away, though. Tackled and dispossessed. In goes Wine for Fitzroy. Looks for a free. Melodramatic stuff as he threw the arms apart and lurched backwards. And uh, the umpire obliged. He kicks quickly with the left boot to Lyon, who beats off Larkin and Marks. 45 out. Ross Smith still in trouble, Tim. Lower yes, back, I think. He's being carried or helped off. He's got an arm around the shoulder of each trainer and he's in trouble. As Lyon lines them up for Fitzroy, he'll kick from about right on the 50. Has kicked a goal. He comes in. Drop punt is pretty good again. I think he's done it. That's a, a magnificent kick. Went through post height from a long way out. Don't worry too much about the wind. That was a long kick. 3-2-20 Fitzroy, North 1-1-7, Smith off, Clarkson on for the Kangaroos as we go to David Mackay at Waverley Park. Melbourne by one point at the eight-minute mark. It's Melbourne 1-1-7, leading St Kilda one straight six. Phil? We've played nine minutes and Essendon lead by eight points there. One, two, eight and Brisbane no score. Robert? And no score down here at Glenia Park after two minutes. Back here at Princess Park, Fitzroy 3-2, North Melbourne one goal one. 
like a summer's day out there from our high vantage point. Uh, centre bounce, it's a good high ball. Knocked down by Manson, straight there to uh, Larkin, who doesn't kick very far towards half forward. Armstrong gets out of trouble beautifully, weaves the passage through, kicks long towards Lynch on the half forward line, gets a bad bounce, coming in as Baldwin. Uh, but the ball beats him just uh, over, just near the Fitzroy dugout, about 40 metres out from goal, left half forward flank. Fitzroy 3 2 20, North Melbourne 1 1 7 on three of those match of the day, 10 minutes in the first term. The boundary throw in, up goes Sartori, knocks it sideways, who's there? Laidley went to ground, held, and will take a free kick. Dean Laidley on the halfback flank for uh, Fitzroy. If you boost from the Fitzroy supporters about that free kick he plays on up towards centre half back kicks in towards the middle looking for Roberts the ball punched away by Boyd coming through is uh, level comes back to Boyd the hand pass came from a teammate kicks in towards centre half for Fitzroy Mark Manson's marked about 30 metres out directly in front sit up wasn't a sitter, it was a very, very hard mark. It took a lot of courage and he backed back into a pack. A sitter of a shot for him. Oh, I know that. I was just worried about the mark. He did not sitter. take the kick. Oh, that's just usual. Seven kick. marks to one in the game so far. Fitzroy would lead by 13 points early days yet. Uh, Manson dead in front. Robert Heatley stand in from 25 to 30. The drop punt on its way and it's a beauty. Straight through the middle. So they've come out running the Fitzroy team. You were right, Tim. Fitzroy 4-2-26, North Melbourne one one seven. Stanley. Yes, uh, an excellent start by Fitzroy. Your yeah, aggression, the ball, and that is great. I, I'm also impressed with the thought they've put in it. Their uh, their talls on the forward line. Zanotti going down on that forward line. We know Lynch is down there with his height. We've got Satori down there who's tall. And also Manson who's changing and running in the ruck is prepared to go deep in. And when they kick the ball in, they've just, they're just too tall for the north back line. Fitzroy Camp was confident for this. And their confidence looks justified. They've made a hot start. Manson beats Ishchenko. North uh, on the defensive side have it pretty well covered. Fitzroy can't break away. And there'll be a ball up as Murray Bird comes in to bounce. Just about 10 metres on Fitzroy's attacking side of the centre circle. The Lions making a most impressive start. Bounce of the ball. Ishchenko comes uh, from the same side as his opponent. Wind onto it for Fitzroy. Short kick forward. Rock copped a high one, I thought. No free. Picked up by guard. Kicks to Lynch. Couldn't quite hang on to the mark. Satori helps it down to Lyon. Under pressure. Tackled and brought down. The umpire falls over. It's becoming habitual. Picked up by Laidley as it spills. He kicks to the middle and, oh, Carey takes a great mark for North Melbourne. Just forward of the centre as the Kangaroos might build the attack. In fact, it's a free kick to McAdam, whose kick is very poor and straight onto the chest of McGregor, who marks on the defensive 50 for the Roy. Kicks out wide, looking for Zanotti. Gets uh, Archer on the ball. He doubles back Zanotti. Yeah, it sets up beautifully for him. He's 48 out, centering kick it towards centre half forward. It's off the pack. He towards the pocket. Lynch is first there. He's got some space. He'll need a good bounce. He doesn't get it. And the ball goes over just between the Fitzroy and Carlton race here at uh, Princess Park. Left forward pocket, Robert Heatley stand in. Fitzroy 4-2, North Melbourne 1 goal 1. Boundary throw in. Up goes Sartori, but they both miss it. Sartori and Fairley, and there'll be a ball up 30 out, make that 35 from Fitzroy's goal. An omen winner at uh, Flemington in race 4 on centre court. And has won the fourth race at Flemington. Now, 35 out and Fitzroy's goal. There's the bounce. Up goes Sartori and Fairley. Fairley knocks it down. Takes the ball out of the air, but he's upended. Lost possession. The ball comes out of the pack from Larkin to Laidley. Laidley's kick around that outer side wing. Or a push in the back against Carey. A free kick to Fitzroy between wing and half back to be taken by the former North Melbourne player, McCarthy. The kick may have been smothered, semi-smothered. Still travels, though, further up the ground, almost along the ground. Picked up by Lyon. Handballed across to uh, Wine, but intercepted by Scholl of North Melbourne. He's kicked the half forward. The bouncing ball picked up by McCarthy of Fitzroy. Took a bit too long. Good tackle there by Allison. Loose ball picked up there by Fitzroy, who cleared the ball through Broderick around the wing. The ball knocked back to the wing. Guard is there for Fitzroy. A left foot kick to the half forward line, where it's been marked by Laidley who's in everything. He hand passes to Rock, who gives it to Archer. Kicks the Kangaroos into attack. Good uh, spoil against Ischenko. Falls to Elliott. Hand pass to Boyd. Kicks Fitzroy into attack. Archer backing back with the flight of the ball. Takes a good mark for the Kangaroos at centre half back. They've been under constant pressure. He kicks towards uh, midfield where they have two on one. And Roberts comes soaring over the pack and takes a mark for North Melbourne. 
What a player he is now. He kicks long, up to full forward. Great chance for Longmire, but he got too involved in the jostle. Lost the flight of the ball, and it beats him through for a behind. Fitzroy, 4-2-26. North, 1-2-8. All grounds, David Mackay. Eight-point lead to Melbourne at the 13.5-minute mark. It's Melbourne, 2-2-14. Leading St Kilda, one straight six. Phil. Essendon by 27 points at the 14.5-minute mark. 4-3-27 is their score. Brisbane, no score. Well, back here at Princess Park, almost good news for Fitzroy supporters who carried the ball from the kick-in through Zanotti. Lynch dropped the sitter but gets a high ball in towards the goal square. It's punched through by Clarkson. who's on replacing the injured Ross Smith and through for a behind to Fitzroy. Score check, Fitzroy 4-3 at North Melbourne 1-2. Bobby. Only one score down here at Geelong and it's one point to the Cats. Footscray yet to score. Now kick in by Clarkson from the Robert Heatley stand end up towards the point of the square. Up goes Archer but the ball slipped through his hands but the umpire spotted the free and it's going North Melbourne's way to be taken by Stevens near the point of the square at halfback. No, it's not Stevens, the man who's going to get the free kick. It's going back to Dwyer. Yes, umpire the point of the Bird square. is limping. He look, he's yes. the one who fell over. He looks as though he might be in a bit of trouble. Dwyer's hand pass to Clarkson. Kicks towards half foot. Up goes Kerry. Can't mark. Off the pack, Boyd. Good poise. Left foot kick out wide. The bouncing ball. Dwyer there by himself. Although Baldwin closes. Drags him down. Good tackle. The ball picked up by Stevens. Handball across to Laidley. Laidley by hand gives it to Clarkson. Clarkson wide of the set up towards centre half forward. Kerry up. Can't mark the ball. It's still at centre half forward for North Melbourne. Picked up by Armstrong, almost kicks the wrong way. Helped on by Roberts, gets it down to McCadden. By hand gives it to Archer. Archer's left foot kicker, scrubby one in towards half forward. Good use of the body by Longmire. Weeched up against the boundary line. He's out but keeps the ball in. Handball towards Archer. He's on for all fours, knocks the ball out to Allison. A pot shot for goal is right across and it's through for a behind for North Melbourne. They moved to one goal, 3-9. Fitzroy, 4-3-27. The Roys by three goals. Crackers? Well, at this stage, it's anybody's game. North Melbourne, the last five minutes, have really put the pressure on and got back into this game, but they had to because uh, they could almost slipping away. And uh, Fitzroy putting a bit of pressure on Fitzroy at the moment. Interesting game. Murray Bird doing some uh, leg stretching exercises. He uh, came down hard and looks as though he's hurt himself. Short kick into Lyon, who goes short to wind. It's still only 30 metres is out from the end of the square. Now they've got an option as Wine kicks to Johnston on the halfback flank unmanned. He goes for Manson, too far for him. At the back, contest between Baldwin and Clarkson. Support for Clarkson from Scholl. He hand passes towards Rock, he's under pressure. Fitzroy very hard at the ball. Two of them went so hard they crashed into each other. But out of it all, North Melbourne take a free kick. But it's a comment on how Fitzroy are attacking it. Lindsay Fox might have sacked the Fitzroy coach after that. Two of them ran into each other. Coaches have been sacked for worse than that. Kick towards the centre of the ground. No one able to mark the ball. At the fall. Hard at it. Uh, Fitzroy through Armstrong, I think it was. And there'll be a ball up just forward of the centre for North Melbourne. Fitzroy making the early running in the match. Leading by three goals. 4-3 to 1-3 at the 17 and a half minute mark of the first term. A ball up between centre and centre half forward for North. They've got the breeze in this term. Knocked down by Fitzroy's guard. It comes out to line. Hand pass out to Armstrong. Being pursued by McAdam. Armstrong gets his kick to the half forward line. Broderick is there. Almost brought it in but comes to it. Gets the hand pass away. Gets it to Manson. 48 metres out. Kicks in towards an unguarded goal. He misses everything this time. This uh, big uh, James and... It's out of bounds on the full, and a free kick to North Melbourne to be taken by Fairley. Fitzroy 4-3, North Melbourne 1-3 three on three Elo's match of the day. Kick by Fairley. Half-back flank, Manson spoils, and Wind is in the front of the pack. Good work there by Baldwin to get the, a player out of the way of North Melbourne to give Wind a passage in towards half-forward. Lynch being held. He went with the ball one-handed. He was grabbed by his left. He went uh, with it with one hand. He tried to hook it in, claw it in with his right hand because he couldn't get his left arm around to take the mark with two. The umpire spotted it and a free kick to Alistair Lynch. And if he can kick it, and uh, I know that uh, teams can score at both ends here at Princess Park, even if the breeze is going down to the main scoreboard end. But it'll be a great psychological advantage. The breeze going across the ground, but coming in from the north nor-east. He's on a 45 degree angle. He's 30 metres out from goal. He dropped punts and he's put it straight through the middle. Now, goal umpire's taking plenty of time as if he could have got another... Now, hang on, the goal umpire's run out. He hasn't got the all-clear from the field umpire yet. And now he signals, or the field umpire says all-clear, 
and the goal umpire doubles back, goes to the goal line and raises both fingers. A goal to Fitzroy kicked by Lynch. They're 5-3 to North Melbourne, 1-3. All their news, David Mackay. Melbourne by 26 points at the 18 and a half minute mark. It's Melbourne 5-2, 32. Leading St Kilda, one straight six. Phil. Essendon by 23 points at the 19 minute mark. They're 4-3, 27. Brisbane, four behind. Bob. After 12 minutes, it's Geelong, 2-1, 13. Footscray yet to score. So three breakaways. Breakaways at three of the four grounds. Bounce of the ball. And Ischenko and Manson. Manson the better of it. Down the line. Thinks about the hand pass. Then runs on. On the left boot. Spearing pass towards Lynch. Zanotti who's lined up in attack and is doing good things is there to lend a hand. But the ball bounces out to the line for a throw in. Up towards the left forward pocket. All Fitzroy. 5-3 to 1-3. And a major test here of the Kangaroos. Top of the ladder by a game. But they're going to be battling to get back into this. Satori takes it out of the air. He's very well tackled. It spills to German. Hurried kick from a standing start out over the halfback flank. Armstrong drops a mark he should have taken. He's given support. A Fitzroy free kick to uh, Paxman, who went in hard and copped a high tackle. And the Lions will be back into attack, where they've been almost throughout. Paxman runs wide, comes in board, kicks towards Manson and Satori, third in line. 35 metres out directly in front. And it could be another Fitzroy goal. Well, the Lions felt they matched up well against North Melbourne. They'd come off four straight defeats and were obviously very determined to arrest the slump. Pagan making a change. Satori comes in and kicks at goal and he does not err one millimetre. It is right through the middle. Fitzroy's sixth goal and they lead by 30 points. 6-3-39, North Melbourne 1-3-9. Stanley. Total domination by the Roys, uh, Tim. They have been superb. They're winning at the centre breaks. Uh, they've got, you know, Manson's giving that typical uh, contest there. He's jumping right into Ashenko. The player who's doing very well from Ross Lyon on ball there is very elusive getting in deep. But the key, again, as we keep saying, they are just too tall. They're tall timber on the forward line. Fitzroy is doing very well. From the centre bounce, knocked down by Manson, but taken by Shaw. Kicks the ball through the pack. Picked up by Mann, who's just on. Kicks the ball up towards half forward. Kick off the ground by Elliott. It's not a bad kick. Back up towards the middle. The umpire spotted the free in the pack. It's going Fitzroy's way. Baldwin. Fitzroy picked up uh, the last two or three free kicks after I thought North had a good run early. Baldwin now from defensive side of the centre. Pumps the ball towards half forward. Manson's marked. 55 metres out from goal. Feeds the hand pass to Broderick who kicks into Crocker. The loose ball at their feet. Now let's see. Kicking in danger. No. I heard a bit of a roar there from the Fitzroy supporters. There'll be a ball up about 60 metres out from goal. And a great chance there for Fitzroy with Manson taking a mark 52 out. Fleeting the hand pass while he was on the ground to Broderick. But kicked uh, into a North Melbourne player. So good defensive work by North to shut down a certain goal. From the ball up, Ashenko knocks the ball back towards the middle. McGregor is there, playing cat and mouse. Gets his kick in towards centre half forward. The bouncing ball and Laidley comes out. The ball knocked away by Lynch. But uh, Laidley gets the hand pass to Fairley in the half back line. Kicks out wide. Ashenko tumbles into the ball and is marked between half back and half forward. Handball across to Stevens. Stevens by hand. Gives it to further down the field to Mann. Mann gives it to Archer by hand. Archer wide of centre. A centering kick towards centre half forward. Longmire goes to ground but he's beaten beautifully by, uh, by it would have been Hawking who kicks up towards the half forward line. Allison can't keep his feet. He's bringing Harris down there. Gets a hand pass back on play. Knocked on by Stevens although the wrong way. He might have done it two handedly. He did. A free kick to Fitzroy. Sonotti's got it, a kick and a half out from goal. The lead from Lynch, it's on. He leads into half forward. Baldwin comes in. No, it's McCarthy, is it? No, it's Lawrence. Johnston, in fact. Floated across them. Oh, he showed a bit of free carriage. kick. Free kick. And he's given away a free kick, and Crocker comes up holding his left wrist. Now, what was the free kick for? Well, Lynch was trying to protect uh, his man who was coming in, and he actually held him out. It was good team play by Lynch, but unfortunately, the umpire caught it. Thanks, Stan. Now, the kick from centre-half back by North Melbourne comes out wide to Larkin. Draws the player. Handball across to Scholl. Scholl on the attacking side of the centre. A centering kick towards half-forward. Longmire up. Can't mark the ball. Man gives the hand pass to no one. Gee, I'll tell you what, yes. Well... Ross Lyon, I thought, may have just cocked his elbow on the way through there, and one of those North Melbourne players might have been a little bit lucky. They're going to get a free kick for a non-related incident, and it's going to be Peter Mann who's got the free kick about uh, 50 metres out from goal. Four possessions already since having come on. Anthony DeWire 
is uh, coming back on. I think Scholl is coming off. Anyway, all eyes on man. we we'll played 24 minutes in the term. He's at centre half forward. And the ball left to right with the breeze. Oh, he didn't place it all that well. The breeze did take it from left to right. And it's through for a behind. North Melbourne 1-4. Fitzroy 6-3. 24 and a half minutes first term. David Mackay at Waverley. 24 point lead to uh, Melbourne at the 23 and a half minute mark. It's Melbourne 5-2-32. 2, leading St Kilda 1-2-8. Phil. Essendon 4-3-27. Lead the Brisbane Bears by 21 points. They're six behinds at the 25 minute mark. Bob. After 17 minutes, Footscray still yet to score. Geelong 2-1-13. North Melbourne deep in attack, but off a of pack Armstrong. <laughs> a relieving kick back towards midfield for Fitzroy. Straight to Rock, who kicks North back into attack. It bounces in towards full forward. McAdams a chance. He knocks it to Blakey. Snaps with the left boot in towards Carey in the goal square. Well done, Paxman. Prevents a mark. Ischenko over the ball. Paddles it to Longmire. Kick stolen off his boot by guard. Clearing kick. And now Fitzroy can rebound. Out to half back to Johnston. Pokes the left footer up to the wing. Oh, Manson low down. Drops a chest mark. Maybe the knee came through and knocked the ball from his grasp. Over the boundary line, over on the university side for a throw-in. Fitzroy, 6-3-39, leading the ladder leaders, 1-4-10, a half a minute into time on. From the boundary throw-in, knocked down by Broderick from behind, but taken off the pack by Stevens. Kicks to half forward, a diving attempt by a Fitzroy player, and he gets a push in the back against Mann. Fitzroy will get a free kick at centre half back and emerging is Boyd who delivers by hand to McCarthy. McCarthy back to Boyd and just a little bit of a two play there. Boyd runs to half back, a long kick to half forward, no one dropping back for the Roys and lately who's done well after an early heavy knock has marked at centre half back. Kicks wide of the centre, finds Larkin by hand, thought about Clarkson but Larkin goes himself. High ball to carry the skipper at half forward. McCarthy puts his body in front and takes an inspirational mark for the Roys. Good bit of psychology, Robert but Shaw putting McCarthy on his old teammate and uh, he offered him the challenge. Kick out to the wing. Dwyer wins possession for North. He kicks to McAdam who marks just inside the 50 for the Kangaroos. Shrugs off his tagger for the day. Elliot who's playing in the back pocket on this Aboriginal sharpshooter who has a chance to shoot sharp right now from 45. He'll kick from closer to 50. And don't North need it. They've only kicked one in 26 and a half minutes and they trail by 29 points they've been jumped in comes McAdam kicks from right on the 50 drop punt good looking kick but just fading left to right the wind dragging it away and it's a behind Fitzroy 6-3-39 North Melbourne at 1-5-11 at the 27 minute mark now kick in by Hawking and will it be okay? Yes, he finds Elliot just outside the 50. Elliot takes the mark and plays on. Kicks up towards the wing where it's marked by Garda Fitzroy. Right below our commentary position. Goes to Manson who sets himself. The spoil came from Roberts. But Zanotti raves the pack. Handball to Lyon. 30 metres out. Goes for goal and puts it through. Another one to Fitzroy. Lyon gets his third. 27 and a half minutes in the first term at Princess Park. Upset looming here. Fitzroy 7-3-45, North Melbourne 1-5-11, Pete. And Ross Lyon is the architect and uh, Glenn Archer might want to go and play on him for a while because he's not picking him up terribly much and uh, gee, I tell you what, they are wanting the ball and they are really putting the pressure on and the North Melbourne players must have considered that they would be given this game but uh, Fitzroy got some more ideas. It was a great passage of play dragging it all the way down the ground and uh, McAdam should have kicked that goal. It was uh, gettable, but uh, Ross Lyon didn't miss him. Geez, he's an accomplished footballer, and he's got some aggression. Isn't he? Good player now. Three goals for the quarter, and Fitzroy have broken away, and they're into attack again as Wine roves cleverly. Kicks to the leading Lynch on the bounce. Awkward. Can't trap it. Ball winner chance. Goes to ground. Picks himself up, but he's lost the footy. Socket clear of the pack by the Kangaroos. Picked up by Scholl. Sweeps a hand pass to Laidley, who's propping them up back there. He kicks up towards half forward. Kerry jostling, can't get near the ball. Armstrong onto uh, to a teammate, but they've lost it. Blakey runs onto it, kicks to full forward to Longmire, who marks 10 metres out directly in front. Two hand passes from Fitzroy. The uh, was taken by Boyd. His hand pass was stolen. And North Melbourne on the breakaway. Blakey against his former team, delivering to Longmire, who kicks from 15. Shouldn't miss this, and he doesn't. So the Kangaroos have their second. 
but they still trail by 28 points. Fitzroy 7-3-45, North Melbourne 2-5-17. Longmire has both of those two goals. David Mackay. Melbourne by 29 points at the 28-minute mark. It's Melbourne 6-2-38, leading St Kilda 1-3-9. Phil. Essendon lead by 15 points at the 29-minute mark. 4-3-27 to Brisbane 1-6-12. Robert. It's Geelong by seven points. 2-2-14, two, two, Footscray 1-1-7. One, one, Almost quarter time at Princess Park on three of those match of the day. Fitzroy 7-3. North Melbourne two goals, five in bright sunshine, but plenty of very dark black cloud to the south. There's the ball up in the middle, knocked down by Shinko. Kick off the ground by Stevens, up the half forward, taken away by Armstrong. Kicks towards half forward and coming through Zanotti, but he's got a bit of a push in the back, but he's lost it through weight of numbers. Lately does well by hand to Allison, by hand gives it to Stevens. Stevens at centering kick, and Carey's taking his eye off the ball, and McCarthy, who's doing very well, is marked at half back. Kicks the ball to Boyd at centre half back. He can float one over the top to line if he wants to, but he goes short, and it's taken there by. By, uh, Armstrong up towards half forward and uh, Broderick is marked just uh, on the wing. Goes short or they're chipping the ball beautifully. Finds McGregor. McGregor kicks to Lynch who doubles back and almost got it. But uh, Fairley comes through running hard at the ball. Gives the hand pass to Roberts who dropped one he should have taken. Kicks the ball across the half back line and luckily bounces just before the line for a boundary throw in. And when uh, Longmire got that goal a short time ago Fitzroy almost had a goal at the other end. It was just a fluky bounce that took it North Melbourne's way to doing all things right. Sartori up in the air, gets it down towards Johnson, who's claimed with the ball, and the field umpire says, no, I'll ball it up between wing and half forward, but the Roy's into attack. They're running out of time in the first term to score again, but a tick under 31 minutes, and they lead by 45 points to 17. Might just be time for one play. At the ball up, North Melbourne gain the advantage as Ross Smith gets a double fister and then he goes in after it and uh, roves. Paddles it on to Stevens who knocks it to Rock. Kicks it towards half forward and McAdam marks at the 50 and then he runs into a, a shirt front, a shoulder and it's a 50. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, that's given away a goal. McAdam will virtually come to the scoreline as, now who's that, Paxman? who's being dragged back to stand between the posts. I think I called Smith starting the play. It might have been Archer down in the back half for North Melbourne. McAdam to kick a goal from five metres out. He pokes it through, and suddenly the Kangaroos have three on the board and are edging back into the game. Nor Fitzroy 7-3-45, North 3-5-23 at the 31.5 minute mark, Crackers. Well, yes, he does, uh, I must admit, he uh, does get looked after, McAdam. I didn't know if there was a 50 in that. I, you've really got to give the player going for the ball every benefit, I know that, but uh, Fitzroy a bit unlucky on that goal. But, um, you know, but they're starting to play a little bit better, North Melbourne, and that movement forward out of Archer was, uh, you know, they've got to get another one too before the siren goes. I think they'll run out of time, though. Fitzroy by 22 points, centre bounce, up they go, Manson knocks it down, Fitzroy player being held but it's taken by Johnston, a Fitzroy kicks them forward up towards the knotty, he was grabbed, he's going to get a free kick. The Fitzroy, North Melbourne player a bit unlucky, he plays on, he knows time's running out, kicks it down towards Manson who takes it beauty, 15 metres out, backing into the pack. Terrific play by Zanotti and picking him on the forward line has been an absolute boon for uh, Fitzroy. He got the free kick for being held but the ball held up in the breeze and the North Melbourne player just had to do something. There's the siren, it's quarter time at Princess Park. James has gone back along the... Difficulty a bit. He's 20 metres out, directly in front to get that one back and he's put it through for a goal. Manson gets his second. So Fitzroy edged to a, a very good lead at, uh, at quarter time of 28 points. They're 8-3-51 and I think North Melbourne had the breeze. Fitzroy 8-3-51, North Melbourne 3-5-23 for Fitzroy Lion kick three, two each to Lynch and Manson and one to Sartori and for North Melbourne, Longmire two and McAdam one. At quarter time on three of those match of the day, Fitzroy the underdogs by 28 points, 8-3 to three goals five deserve a 28 point lead by far the better side well one side turned up to play off their guns and ever side left them at home and that's the way it's gone Fitzroy really fired up and continuing on it's going to be a good game Ischenko and the injured Ross Smith off as we start the second quarter Satori and Mann in ruck Stephen Sockers at North Melbourne's way there's a free kick it goes to the Kangaroos and will be taken by Dwyer just four to the center now is there a 50 the umpire blows the whistle as he kicks Came around too far off. You said, got it behind you, Mark. 
so he's got to take his kick again. From just forward of the centre circle, Dwyer kicks in towards half forward. Carey looking for his first possession is out jostled. Satori got back to double up on him. There's a free kick and a 50 against Carey, who didn't deliver the ball. And so McCarthy will come forward of the centre. And the Lions can build the attack as the frustrated North Melbourne skipper is having a little debate with uh, the umpire as McCarthy comes almost into the centre circle, puts Fitzroy into attack, out towards Lynch, who's doing a lot of long leading from full forward. Can't get there to mark. It's knocked away towards the boundary line and over for a throw-in on Fitzroy's left half forward flank. Clarkson was the knocker to the boundary line. Skipper going off, uh, Tim. Carey dragged. Yeah, dragged. Hasn't had the possession yet. From the boundary throw in, Manson gets it down the line. By hand gives it to Sonotti. Sonotti to Johnston, who kicks up towards the goal square. Here come the Roys again. Almost yes to a free kick. It must be against Lynch to be taken by Crocker at centre half back. Ashenko coming on. Very short, sharp phone call for Wayne Carey. Greeted him as he crossed the boundary line. And Armstrong was uh, gave him the message he ran off the ground too. The kick uh, by Crocker towards centre half back. It's marked by Archer of North Melbourne, who plays on quickly. Runs up that centre corridor. Spearing kick. There's no one uh, virtually in 50. The ball lands. Knocked on by Longwire. Out towards Dwyer. Sweeping hand pass. Thumped by McCarthy. Up towards centre half back. A chance there for Satori. Couldn't control it. Kick off the ground there by Dwyer. In towards centre half forward. North Melbourne player hovering over the ball looking for a free kick. In goes Blakey. Gets the hand pass out of the pack. It was good. Picked up by Rock. Fires in towards goal and has put it through. A goal to North Melbourne. Kicked by Anthony Rock, who's pretty untidy. Players on the ground on all fours, but eventually a good hand pass came out, and he popped it through. North Melbourne, 4-5-29, Fitzroy, 8-3-51, Stan. Well, things might be turning for North, because I can tell you, Anthony Rock ran in to, to attempt the ball. The Fitzroy player kicked it off the ground and hit him just above a vital area. He was incapacitated, couldn't go to the contest. He's standing back there, a sly kick out of the pack goes straight to him, and he kicks the goal. That's why he didn't do it with conviction. At the bounce, man gets the knock, and North Melbourne have momentum. German soccer's at further on in towards half forward. Archer in hard at the ball, but he's buried, and there'll be a ball up as a pack forms over the top of him. Centre half forward for North Melbourne. The Kangaroos have made a good start in this second quarter, which is three minutes old. They've kicked the only goal and edged back to within 22 points. The umpire waves the Ruckman away. They're getting onto his territory. Satori and Mann push and shove. Satori the knock. Elliott helps it further on for Fitzroy. Clarkson over it as well, tackled by guard. Can't break away. Another ball up. Just north's attacking side of the centre. Still on the cricket square area in the middle. Fitzroy 8-3-51, north 4-5-29. Lions by 22 points on three of those match today. There's the ball up just wide of the centre. Knocked back by Mann. Who's going to get it? They all fist at it, but they miss it. Wine goes in. Ball comes out of the pack. Lately, ball came from Rock. Lately's kicked the half forward. Free kick to Fitzroy over the shoulder. at centre half back to be taken by... Who was it there Boyd. at centre half back? Boyd, who's done pretty well. Delivers eight possessions. Handball across towards Seacamp, who uh, kicks him up. Picked up by Clarkson. Clarkson kicks it back to half forward in towards the Kerry territory. He can't mark. McAdam is there. Grab without the ball. Will take the free kick. 45 out directly in front. And things certainly starting to turn North Melbourne's way. If you can just delete that last goal that Fitzroy kicked on the siren through Manson. It's been North Melbourne pretty good for uh, about the last eight or nine minutes of the first term. We'll make that six or seven. And the first four minutes of the second quarter here at uh, Princess Park. A very black cloud coming in. Now McAdam, he's kicked one, Longmire's kicked two. From 40, drop punt on its way. It looks to be a perfect kick, it's a beautiful kick. He's put it straight through the middle. His second goal, and North Melbourne's fifth. And all of a sudden, little seed of doubt in Fitzroy's uh, brain. They lead 8-3 to North Melbourne 5-5. David Mackay at Waverley. Melbourne by 28 points at the six-minute mark. It's Melbourne 7-2-44. Leading St Kilda 2-4-16. Phil. Essendon 7-4-46 lead Brisbane 2-7-19. And we've played five and a half minutes. Bob. No change to the quarter time score. There is now as Stoneham puts it through for a goal. So it's Geelong 3-2-20. Footscray 1-1-7. Fitzroy by just 16 points now. Man gets the knock in the ruck contest, but uh, running onto the ball is uh, McGregor. Uh, McGregor. Kicks it very high in the air. No one able to mark it. Still on the centre line. Lyon with his body over the ball for Fitzroy. There'll be a ball up between the centre and the John Elliott stand wing. 
Fitzroy 51, North Melbourne 35, five and a half minutes second term and the Kangaroos have kicked two goals in the quarter so far. Mann and Satori again, Satori just the better of it, down to Wine, can't break away and another ball up on the crest in the centre area, right on the centre line. Fitzroy haven't been into attack so far in the quarter and they could do with a steadying goal after making the pace in the first term. But the ladder leaders showing their stuff at the moment as they're fighting back from five goals down. Satori does well in the ruck, but Baldwin can't take the ball with him. Picked up by Clarkson for North. Hand pass searching for Rock. Has to go back to collect it. Kick short. German takes a mark. Just forward of the wing. On the left boot, kicks in towards half forward. Carey in good position here. Two against him again. Well done, Satori getting back to double up. McCarthy flicks the ball out of the pack towards the boundary line. Very close to the line and now over. A throw in on North's half forward flank, but it's all North at the moment. Fitzroy 8 3 the Kangaroos 5 5 35. A boundary throw in right half forward flank in front of the Carlton Social Club. North into attack, knocked down by Mann. Take now the pack by Dwyer, kicks to half forward. Longmire with a couple to beat, the ball punched towards the boundary. Archer gets a bit of a shove in the back, but the ball was out of play and so was he. A boundary throw in, but certainly closer to North Melbourne's goal. This time about 20 metres around from there behind post, boundary throw in, Sartori knocks it sideways, German is there, runs into his own play at the wire, which could be a bit of a, a gift actually because they all left him alone, he's kicked towards goal, it's bounced through, he's put it through I'm sure, German's kick, it's, it's a goal to North Melbourne. Well he ran into his own man and just seemed to distract the Fitzroy defence and he seemed to have tons of time to line up from 25 out and the ball trickled through, so the complexion of this game is changing. Fitzroy by 10 points. 8-3 to North Melbourne 6-5. Crankers? Actually, it's the first real goal that the North Melbourne have got by field play. They're both, both, most of the goals have been uh, free kicks or uh, kicks downfield. They're starting to turn the corner, though. The margin just 10 points. It looks as though it's going to rain and rain heavily very soon. Knocked by man out towards the wing. McGregor does well for Fitzroy. Works it forward by dint of just uh, pressing the ball on. Up to Zanotti from the 50. Swings it to the forward pocket. But, oh, good mark taken back in defence by Crocker just before he got a shove and went sprawling over the boundary line. Under the scoreboard, back pocket for North, kicks to half back where uh, Mann the target fell over, but Baldwin couldn't pick it up and Mann was able to work a little hand pass on, Larkin had it and lost it, socket on North's way to the uh, wing, picked up by Seacamp though, hand pass to Boyd, to McGregor, but uh, they're not going anywhere very effect effectively. Now Broderick helps a little hand pass towards guard, knocks it onto Zanotti, just outside 50, hurried kick, the bounce beats Crocker, but Fairley's there to fist it to the boundary line and over for a throw in. Fitzroy in attack now looking for his first goal of the quarter and the ball to be thrown in just a couple of metres around from the right behind post Fitzroy 8-3-51 North 6-5-41 The Roy's led by 28 points at quarter time and has been whittled away by three goals down to 10 points now. A boundary throw in between the behind post and the main scoreboard here at Princess Park. Up they go Sartori knocks it towards centre half forward lately clears the ball up towards centre half back. The ball comes down to McGregor he kicks the ball in towards the goal square pushing and shoving. The flicky ball comes off the pack. Taken away by Stevens. kicks the ball across the half back line good defensive work from Blakey as he knocked the ball away from Armstrong and the ball is out of play 50 metres away from Fitzroy's goal score check, Fitzroy 8-3-51 North Melbourne 6 41 that's very dark here at Princess Park a slight delay, David Mackay at Waverley, 22 point lead to Melbourne at the 10 minute mark, it's Melbourne 7-2-44 letting St Kilda 3-4-22 time Phil. to you Phil uh, Essendon lead by 29 points, 7 6 48 to the Brisbane Bears, 2 7 19. We've and played you 10 Bobby. minutes. Sorry. Geelong by 19 points, 4 2 26. Footscray 1 1 7. I think under 10 minutes in the second term, it's been all North Melbourne. Boundary throw in, knocked down, and Stevens up end as he tried to kick the ball through the pack. It comes to Broderick, gets it out towards Johnston, kicks it towards the forward pocket. Lynch has taken a mark on the point of the square. He's on a 45 degree angle, only about 12 metres out. As Johnston put the ball up, the breeze got it, just dragged it across uh, the goal line a fraction. And may have helped Lynch because both Lynch and his opponent had eyes on the ball. ladley has gone. Shoulder. Has he? Yes. Oh, that's bad news. AC joint by the look of it. Now Lynch, who has kicked how many? Two. Comes in. Drop punts for goal. Puts it through, I think. Yes, he has. He wasn't really sure himself. 
and the goal umpire, a little uh, theatrical there, took a bit of time to raise both fingers. Lately off is Shanko back on, and Fitzroy led by 16 points here at Princess Park on three of those match of the day. 9-3-57 to North Melbourne, 6-5-41. Pete? And they're in a bit of strife now, North Melbourne, because they're operating with 18, 18 players. Ross missed Crook. He looked like his lower back, the way he was running. lately has gone. Looks like AC joined. They've got a Shanko on who got an absolute hiding. But that was a nice mark and a great kick by Lynch. He's he, a dangerous player. This man's doing well in the ruck, so is Shanko's permanent forward pocket at the moment. Well, if he's permanent, he's permanent. He's forward pocket at the moment. North into attack. Larkin a hand pass, searching for someone forward of the pack. No one there. Rocket chance now. He's between wing and half forward flank. Collects the ball. Swings it with the left boot up towards the 50. Carey fell over. At the fall of the ball, Clarkson. Tremendous smother, Broderick. Snatched by Armstrong. He's well tackled by Clarkson. A ball up forced. Just inside the 50 for North Melbourne. Good stuff there. Players working very, very hard. Broderick spoil was a tremendous effort to quell North's forward move. Five metres inside the 50. Paxman uh, flies high but brings it down to Allison. Swings with the left boot but he sprays it out on the full. Free kick to Fitzroy in the back pocket. The Roys are 9-3-57. The Kangaroos are 6-5-41. They've played on. They're in strife. A snap in towards goal and Carey. He can't take the mark. He falls over. He's been awarded a free kick. Now, I looked away from the play to the ball that, and I didn't see what went wrong for Fitzroy. That was supposed to be over the shoulder, but it wasn't. Seacamp went short and found a North Melbourne player, Tim, from that free kick. That was a fairly soft uh, free kick, I thought, to Wade oh. Carey. 15 metres out, 45 degree angle. Has not been in the game so far. First kick coming up, Jack. Poker face Jack Cameron says, yes, it is, and I'm not happy. Carey lines them up. He should make the most of it. Kicking into the Heatley stand. He comes in. We're right behind it. And it is right through the middle. So Carey's first kick is a goal. It came at the 12 and a half minute mark of the second term. Fitzroy 9-3-57. North a little fortunate. 7-5-47. David Mackay at Waverley. 16 point lead to Melbourne at the 13 and a half minute mark. Melbourne 7-2-44. Letting St Kilda 4-4-28. Phil. We've played 13 minutes, less than the lead by 29 points. 7 6 48 to the Brisbane Bears, 2 7 19. Bob. After 10 minutes, it's Geelong by 20 points. 5 3 33, Footscray 2 1 13. 13 minutes on the clock at Princess Park. Second term, centre bounce. Shenko knocks it down. Taken by Broderick. Good tackle by Stevens. And the ball was reaped away from Broderick, who's going to get a free kick. I suspect he was held on to after that tackle, tackle was made. Broderick. Goes for the torp. It's a low torp. It's travelling a lot of distance behind the pack. This pushing and shoving. And it's going to be a free kick to North Melbourne to be taken by Crocker between fullback and centre half back. Plays on. Kicks up towards the point of the square. Up goes Anthony Dewey. Can't mark. Johnson put his body in. May have hurt himself. Or was that lion down here who's gone to ground? The ball picked up by Carey on the wing. Got the hand pass across. Anthony Dewey runs out of trouble via a push from Baldwin who can't get going in the game today. A player is Russ Lyon behind play as a, a trainer comes out, but I think he's OK. Boundary throw in right below us, knocked down by man behind the pack. Archer is there. Broderick put his body in. Archer did well. Paddles the ball down to McAdam. Grabbed by Elliott, but he gets his kick to half forward. McCarthy is taking Carey a pass at centre half back for Fitzroy. He's marked on the half back flank and goes to wind. With a little short pass, still on the half back flank in front of the gardener stand. Wind drop punt kicks up towards me. Manson who takes a screamer coming over the top of Clarkson. Five marks to James Manson and you don't often see him soaring like that. Not the most fashionable of footballers but he's been very effective as usual today. He pokes a short pass into Seacamp. Still on the centre line. Closer to midfield now. Seacamp and I'm done tidy kick into half forward. At the fall of the ball is Zanotti. Swings it across his body. Very clever kick into full forward. At the fall of the ball a chance for Broderick. Snaps a goal with the non-preferred and puts it through. And again, Fitzroy lead by 16 points. 10-3-63 to North Melbourne, 7-5-47. And it started with the mark of the day, the mark of the month, 
maybe the mark of the year, Crackers, Big it, James. It was the mark of the year because we are up here in the third story and uh, his his hands were level with us. And he, he winked went, at us, actually. And he actually waved. He said, this is it for you, Crackers. Beautiful bit of play. Lovely bit of play by Broderick. Company footballer there in Strike North. Also, yeah, that give us a cheer. Give a cheer out of Father Jim. Centre bounce. Knocked down by Manson. Taken away by Stevens, though. Kicks up towards the half-forward line. The ball bouncing free. Fitzroy have the numbers, but Blakey picks it up. No, it's Anthony Dwyer. Kicks it towards the half-forward line. Rock is there. Keeps it in. Traps it. Kicks to half-forward. The ball on the bounce. Elliott goes in hard. So does McCarthy. Picked up by Boyd out of the pack. Hand pass across to Wind. Wind goes further down the field to Lyon. Lyon's marked on the wing. Plays on. Shoots a hand pass out wide to Broderick. He'll need to be good. He can't get around man. Oh, great tackle, man. And his hand pass goes to McAdam. Handball across to Larkin. Larkin's kicked the half-forward. And the Sheikho is marked about 45 metres out from goal. What a turnover from the tackle by man. Eschenko, 48 out. That's a high ball, it's going towards goal and it's just offline and through for a behind. Boy, how quickly, Stan, things can change. Score check, Fitzroy 10-3, North 7-6. Yes, and uh, Timmy, I agree with you what you said before. I think Peter Mann has added the dimension of this north side that's got them right back in this contest. Ball back into play from Boyd. Out to uh, half-back, over half-back, and well marked by Paxman. Very solid effort. And Fitzroy to bounce into attack now. He oh. hand passes. This time they don't get into oh. trouble. Now they might. It was to Baldwin. He's kicked semi-smothered. Ricochets to German. Kicks North Melbourne forward. Fortunately, straight to uh, Stevens, who feeds on to Rock, who delivers to McAdam, who, running with the fight of the ball, takes the mark. 25 metres out directly in front. And if Tommy Hafey was here with us, I think he would be getting angry about Fitzroy's handball. Handballing when they perhaps just should be a little more direct and kicking it. And twice in the last two minutes, they've turned the ball over. And this one looks certain to produce a goal. McAdam just uh, 30 metres out when he kicks it, should boot his third. And edge north closer, in fact, to within nine points. Takes a lot of time, prepares himself impeccably. He kicks in copybook manner, and he misses. It's a behind, bad miss. The margin is 14 points. Fitzroy 10-3-63, North 7-7-49, 7, 7 49, 17 and a half minutes. Hawking a little short, uh, kicking towards centre half, back to Wine, double play, back to Hawking, who delivered. Off the side of his boot, it's a wobbler wide of the centre, but it might be all right. Picked up by line. Oh, good tackle applied there by man I think it was again but the advantage paid to Stevens Stevens gets it on to Larkin Larkin kicks 20 metres out the ball is going to land McAdam 25 out directly in front now was it man who applied that Anthony tackle? Dwyer Anthony Dwyer thanks uh, Stanley look very much the same though don't they those boys there's probably a bit of difference in height but even the 20 and the 28 number throws you a bit well Dwyer's got his socks down so I'll remember that this bloke's starting to put a bit of pressure on the game I'll tell you McAdam He's kicked two goals too. Dead in front. Drop punt. He won't miss this time. Steers it through. And North Melbourne certainly right back in this match at Princess Park. Score check. Fitzroy 10-3. 63. Gee, it's getting dark. North Melbourne 8-7-55. David Mackay at Waverley. Melbourne by 29 points at the 19 and a half minute mark. It's Melbourne 9-3-57. Leading St Kilda 4-4-28. Bill. Bombers are 40 points in front of the Brisbane Bears at the 19 minute mark, 9.660 to 2.820. Bob. After 15 minutes at Geelong by 14 points, 5.333 to 3.319. This is the closest North have been since the breakaway early on. Just eight points the difference. Umpire Bird bounces well. Manson beats Ischenko with a well-timed leap and then fights on and wins the ball on the ground. Kicks with the left boot, but poorly into centre half forward. And it's an easy mark for the Kangaroos. Taken by Roberts in the back half. He chips a little past a rock. Running off the half-back flank. Kicks forward of the wing. Carey and McCarthy meet shoulder to shoulder. McCarthy wins. He kicks to midfield. Marked by guard. A hand pass to the running Broderick. Who kicks Fitzroy into attack. Front position Lyon. Couldn't quite hang on. Fights on strongly for the ball. Oh, penalised for holding it. What's the player meant to do? Not contest. Timmy, that umpire guessed. He was behind. He couldn't see that that ball had been rocked uh, free. He had made all the plays. Exactly. Tried to mark. He fought on on the ground. He was buried over the ball and penalised. The ball back to midfield but a Fitzroy free kick and it goes to Johnston. Wide of centre. Frank is just putting out the breeze going straight down the ground now so they should kick long. In towards Lynch. One grab. 
and he's going to get a free kick for being held. Square and up. That, yeah, it was a square up. That, that was not a free kick. No way known that was a free kick to Alistair Lynch. He came out, he was in the pack, he got both hands to it, he wasn't good enough to hold the mark, and that's where it ended. 15 free kicks apiece. Thank you, Jack Cameron. It's not the number, Jack, it's uh, the quality. The Roy's by eight points. We are 20 minutes into the term, and it looks like it's going to bucket down here any moment. 40 metres out, Lynch coming in. The drop punt, the breeze behind him, and it's a very good kick. There's no reaction from the North supporters at that uh, Eastern goal, and he's put it through for his fourth. Score check here at, uh, at Princess Park. Well, they're like lightning on that scoreboard up there. Fitzroy, 11-3-69. North Melbourne, 8-7-55. David Mackay. 29-point lead to Melbourne at the 22-minute mark. It's Melbourne, 9-3-57. Leading St Kilda, 4-4-28. Phil. Bombers by 40 points as the rain starts to fall at MCG 9660 Brisbane Bears 2820 21 minutes into the second quarter. Bob. Geelong by 13 points, 5-3-33 for 3-2-20 and the rain stopped at Geelong. It started here, we can hear it on the roof. Now from the ball up a Fitzroy free kick. So the Lions following a goal have the chance to push for another. There's a good call for Broderick. He pokes a little past board of the centre and it's been marked by Boyd. Boyd it is just forward of the centre circle for the Roys. He's now got a very stiff wind at his back. Is he a long kick? Yes, he is. 70 metres out. He comes in, he drop punts. The wind gets under it, carries it to the edge of the square. Manson up can't mark this time. Off their hands, it's out to the boundary line for a throw-in. Left forward pocket for Fitzroy. The Roys 11-369. The Kangaroos are 8-7-55. Ruse not playing for Fitzroy. Maybe it was a ruse. At the throw-in, it comes to Stevens on the attacking side for North. He kicks towards the wing. Fitzroy have two on one, and Baldwin takes the mark. It's been quiet today after his suspension. He's come back, but takes the mark and plays on. Kicks him towards half-forward. All North Melbourne at set a half-back. The whistle's gone, and there's going to be a 50-metre penalty against uh, Fitzroy as well. The mark was paid. And it's Anthony Rock who's got it, and there's a 50. He doesn't know about it. In fact, he doesn't take advantage of it. The umpire blows the whistle again. James yeah. Manson's going off the planet there at uh, centre-half back to the field umpire. Doing a few of his old crackers antics. Oh, I just can't work these things out. The, the, I couldn't see the free kick, and I didn't know what the 50 was, but Murray does. Well it's, done, Murray Bird. Well, it's going to be uh, Roberts to get the free kick anyway, so it wasn't, although is it coming back to the man Clarkson? Yes, it is. He's on the point of the square at half-back. Plays on and gives it to Roberts, who goes for a run. Has a bounce. Wide of centre. Drop punt into the breeze here at Princess Park. Up towards centre-half forward. Up they go. Almost to mark the Fitzroy. Off the pack, Anthony DeWire. Kicks the ball in towards the forward pocket. Carey scoops it back. Kick off the ground by Broderick is OK. It was a safe one. As it trickled along the ground, outside 50. And for the moment, Fitzroy out of the danger area. Fitzroy 11-369, North Melbourne 8-7-55. The Lions by 14 points. And the city, I think, about to disappear behind uh, rain, which is going to be uh, falling in many parts of Melbourne. Elliott kicks back to the wing, but taken by Clarkson. Kicks the Kangaroos into attack. Larkin almost had it off the pack. And then German, but he's tackled, pulled off his kick, and he's awarded a free kick for a high tackle. At the 50, just outside, too far for him, into the wind. He kicks towards a lead from Longmire. It's been short-circuited by McGregor. Stevens runs onto it, goes for goal. And I think he's put it through. Yes, he has. A very important goal for North Melbourne. Late in the quarter, we're at the 24-minute mark, and they're kicking into what has become a stiff breeze. And they're back to within eight points. Fitzroy 11-369, North 9761 and James Manson is still making inquiring sounds and faces in the direction of Murray Bird Esquire. I, and uh, just a little pat on the back for Stevens. I think Stevens, from about the uh, 10 minute mark of that uh, first quarter, has really been one of the North players to just really put his heart and soul into this. From the centre bounce, Manson knocks it down towards Boyd, who gets a bit of a biff in the front of the uh, chest there. Manson goes up, and there'll be a ball up between centre and centre half forward for Fitzroy. Fitzroy lead by eight points, led by 28 points at quarter time. Now the ball up on the attacking side of the middle for the Roys with the breeze. Ashenko knocks it down, kicked by Baldwin towards half forward. The fluky ball could go anywhere, fairly does well. Kicks the ball through the pack, the ball bounces up towards the middle. Knocked back by McGregor, good play. Handball across to Broderick, on to guard by hand. Guard goes long with the breeze, into Lynch who's marked about 40 metres out on the 45 degree angle. You'll just have to uh, set this ball up uh, to the left of centre 
and let the breeze, which is now going straight down Princess Park, just get onto it and take it in a straight line. Remember at Gan Main one day, I was on the half forward flank. We had a breeze straight down the middle. I just kicked the ball towards centre half forward, let the breeze do the rest. Turkey Tom applaud. Well, I was playing in the twos at the time, I can tell you. Anyway, here's Lynch. Drop punts for goal, and I'm not sure. It looks to be a good kick. No, it's not. Actually, Johnston applauded that ball. He was in the goal square, but I uh, should have waited. It's a behind the Fitzroy. They're 11 4 70, North Melbourne 9 7 61. David Mackay. 30 point lead to Melbourne at the 26 and a half minute mark. It's Melbourne 9 5 59. Leading St Kilda 4 5 29. Phil. I hesitate as Timmy Watson kicks Essendon's 10th goal. They are now 10 8 68. Brisbane Bears 3 8 26. And we're played 26 minutes into the third quarter. Bob. Geelong holding a 19 point lead. 6 3 39. Footscray 3 2 20. It's 24 minute mark. Still a chance for Fitzroy here as they pepper away. A free kick to Lyon outside the 50. Lynch has three against him hopelessly uh, pushed out of the kept out of the contest crocker takes an easy mark hand passes to roberts another hand pass to o'dwyer at the 50. he kicks towards the wing where fitzroy have the numbers manson over the top can't mark mccarthy takes it inside the boundary line but slides over and so there'll be a throw in and north coming out of that pretty well because they were down on numbers at the contest but they come out with a neutral result is Shinko in ruck He's uh, beaten for it by Paxman, who comes from behind. Now it's knocked on Fitzroy's way by Wind. Picked up, though, by Man of North. Kicks back to the wing. Seacamp in hard at it for the Lions. Looking for Baldwin with his hand pass. But Baldwin crashes into the back of O'Dwyer. Or rather, Dwyer. And he takes a free kick just behind the wing for the Kangaroos. He puts them into attack. Again, Carey has two against him. A poor kick with a wet ball drops short. And Broderick takes an easy mark for Fitzroy between the halfback and centre line. We've played 27 minutes in the second term on three of those match of the day. The kick by Broderick to half forward. Punched away by Manson. Picked up there by Wine. Doesn't travel very far. Picked up by Blakey of North Melbourne. Kicks wide at the centre. Archer in front. Takes the mark. Delivers a good hand pass on to Larkin. Who kicks in towards centre half forward. Up goes Elliot. And also Hawking is there as well. Coming out is, uh, is it fairly at centre half forward now. Fitzroy players come from all points of the compass. A ball up 50 out directly in front. But uh, Fitzroy has the breeze, but uh, just a strange ground, Princess Park. We come up here and see the breeze down to the scoreboard end, but you can kick goals into it as well as with it. In fact, sometimes it's better into it, I think, sometimes here. The ball up, knocked down by Schenko, kicked across the half-back line. That would have been by Paxman towards the boundary line. Now, there's, uh, let's see, they've got Larkin there. He's playing for free kick. Paxman gets into his back just slightly, but the ball wins eventually. Beats Larkin over for a boundary throw-in. Almost half time on our match of the day. Fitzroy 11 4 70. Lead North by nine points, 9 7 61. Now the boundary throw in, and it's Ashenko who says, Leave it to me, knocks it down to the front of the pack. Good work from Baldwin who comes in. He's had a fairly quiet day, but uh, things might click for him in the second term. As the rain is falling, how many? Only three possessions. The boundary throw in, 27 and a half minutes. Ashenko knocks it down. Fluky ball could go anywhere. Picked up by German. High ball underneath is the other 29 line. Double fist. Knock on by uh, Boyd. Here's a chance for no. Uh, Manson over ran the ball. Picked up by uh, Roberts. He's tackled over the shoulder. He's got to take a free kick on the halfback flank. Well, anyway, it must have been there. Handball across the shoal. Shoal from halfback. Goes long to Carey, but he's out of the contest. Manson has slipped through his fingers. There's Baldwin mopping up, kicks the ball out towards the wing. Got dealt with after he kicked the ball, and the free kick will be go will go to Harding, who's just on for Fitzroy. Didn't see who uh, who went off. It could have been Sartori. Now Harding now from half back flank. Breeze behind the ball, almost half time. Kicks to half forward. Lyon said he was put out of the contest, but he didn't go for it. Clarkson took the mark. By hand gives it to Scholl, who runs across the half back line. Kicks for the left boot into midfield. Longmire, who's come all the way up from full forward, does very well to trap the ball. Rides a bump. Kicks back to full forward for North Melbourne. Fairly up there is out positioned by Guard, who has to kick in a hurry under pressure out to half back north have three on one here it's uh, taken by dwyer steady's on the left boot kicks to full forward big pack up no one can mark at the full hard at the ball mccarthy looks for a free kick that one's not paid in goes stevens takes it away from goal hand pass to allison just inside 50 hooks it towards full forward but it's a fitzroy mark to broderick pumps the hand pass to mcgregor kicks semi smothered well done stevens a real workhorse but uh, first there is a noddy for Fitzroy. Might have been pushed. No, he's not. The ball over the boundary line for a throw-in. 
Still up towards North's half forward flank with about 75 metres from goal. 30 minutes gone. A goal either way would be crucial in the last seconds of this quarter. From the boundary throne, Nishinko beats Paxman, knocks the ball behind the pack. Here's a chance for German. Handball across to Allison. On his feet, left foot, kicks it towards full forward, shepherded it through by Fairley, but the ball just held up. And it's been uh, rushed through for a behind to North Melbourne. Fitzroy lead by eight points. 11 goals, 470 to North Melbourne. Nine goals, 862. The rain falling and the prettiness has gone off this game. Bit of a slog now. And uh, North Melbourne well poised and placed. Hawking now from fullback. Kicks up towards centre half back. Manson went up at a kick off the ground there by Stevens towards the point of the square. Off the pack, another kick off the ground. A soccer by Wind out towards the wing. Scholl first to get there. Gets away from Zanotti or does he? Zanotti places plenty of pressure on him, but Scholl gets the hand pass across to Mann. Mann goes long to half forward. Kerry there. The ball punched away by McCarthy. Off the pack. A chance for Rock, and he's put it through. From 40 metres out, he rode that pack beautifully, and he's put it through into the breeze. And North Melbourne now within just two points of Fitzroy, closer on half-time. Fitzroy, 11-4, North Melbourne, 10 goals, 8. David Mackay. At half-time here, it's a 30-point lead to Melbourne. It's Melbourne, 10-5-65, leading St Kilda, 5-5-35. The goal scorers for Melbourne. We'll two come each. back for those, Swan. Sorry. Phil. Essendon, 43 points in front at the 31-and-a-half minute mark. 10-9-69 to Brisbane, 3-8-26. Bob. 29 minute mark, it's Geelong by 21 points, 6-5-41 to 3-2-20, but Hinkley's got a free kick, well within kicking distance So North within a kick, close to half time here, centre square contest won by Fitzroy, McGregor kicks to half forward, North with numbers though as it's stolen by Blakey off a pack his kick finds McAdam in the back half, he kicks to Dwyer, forward of the centre, runs on, goes towards Fairley at full forward and he takes the mark, 20 metres out directly in front and at the 32 minute mark of the second quarter he can put North Melbourne in front after the Kangaroos at quarter time trailed by 28 points wasn't that superb vision by uh, McAdam in the in the tight contest to find a man free and just one step give it off to him sirens gone after the bell fairly puts the Kangaroos in front with a goal so a stunning comeback by the ladder leaders really showing some fiber in that quarter when it looked as though, well, they'd been jumped and it looked as though they might be well beaten. But they go to the long interval with a four-point lead and one would think a morale sky high. Fitzroy, on the other hand, would really be sagging. North 11-8-74. Fitzroy 11-4-70 at halftime. Now, Phil Pennell is at halftime at the MCG. Yes, yeah, just gone halftime, Tim. In the first half. And you would normally say that's not a good sign. A lot of contentious decisions. Clocks are rolling, second half underway at Princes Park. So Tori and Ruck, McGregor to a forward pockets, and uh, let's see, Manson's in the forward pocket with uh, Lynch. So just McGregor down to the forward pocket, the only change I can spot, so Tori got the better of it, but uh, the ball falls at their feet, and players come in, and there'll be a ball up. Now Carey at centre half forward, McCarthy's had the better of him, Longmire at full forward, and looks like uh, Hawking back at the full back on him. So North has the breeze in the third term, but you can kick uh, both ends here at uh, Princess Park, no matter what the conditions. Off the pack, a chance for Fitzroy, but they lost the position. The ball comes out uh, just near the wide of the centre. The ball on the ground, it's going to be untidy, I think, for the rest of the day. Roberts grabbed there by uh, Seacamp, and he's going to get a free kick because uh, Seacamp just wouldn't let go. And Roberts has got the free kick on the defensive side of the centre. Now he plays on around the mark, gets a high ball in towards centre half forward, up they go almost to mark the Sartori and a player being held, free kick to Fitzroy, didn't see it in the pack and it's going to Armstrong at centre half back and the umpires are... No, it's going to, it's going to Sartori. Well, need, Sartori didn't even know he had the mark. Well, he must have. Well, he must have paid the mark. And the umpires have got to just pay marks uh, in these conditions from now on. Short pass across the half-back line to Boyd, who finds Wind on the half-back flank. Now, Zanotti leads further down the field. Fitzroy's forward line fell down in the last ten minutes of that second term, when North had three on one on Lynch. The kick by Wind up towards the wing. Off the pack, picked up by Archer. Handball across to Stevens. Kicks it back from where it came. It skims past Wind, out towards Roberts, who lost possession. Oh, it's slippery out there, but he gets a hand pass. Carey second possession, or second kick. Kicks it towards half forward. And the ball taken by Guard on the half volley. Now it's Artori. And double fists the ball across the half back line for a boundary throw in. No score in the third term. We've only played about a minute 48. And North Melbourne lead by four points, 11-8 to Fitzroy, 11-4.
but deep in attack and goals now are going to be invaluable at the throw in Ischenko and Satori wrestle Satori wins takes possession hand passes to Boyd who just grubs it to the boundary line because he had nowhere to go and the subsequent throw in to be just a little bit further away from goal but still only 25 metres around from behind post. Left forward pocket, Kangaroos in attack. Ischenko first hand onto the ball, but it slipped off his fingers. A pack forms around it, and there's going to be a ball up. We watched summer football in the first half on a firm ground. It was dry under blue skies, and in the second, this is midwinter footy. Pouring with rain. From the ball up, carrier possession. Kick smothered. Don't count that, Jack. Not allowed to cheat. Picked up by Roberts. Hand pass backwards to Stevens. Another one backwards to Rock, who chips in board and man is not paid a mark. I thought he might have, been, might have done enough to earn it. Umpire Bird rules it was a touch ball. And there's going to be a ball up. A pack formed around Peter Mann after he contested, but the umpire wasn't satisfied. Reasonably unlucky. The umpires have got to make concessions, and if you do have a couple of grabs at it, because the, if you don't pay a couple of marks, the ball is just going to be a scrimmage all around the ground. You've got to try and let the ball flow if they can and get the ball away. I would have just about paid that. Stan, I'm not sure. Be no doubt. Honest. No yep. doubt a mark. Okay. From the ball up on 50, knocked on by Roberts, down to German, kicking towards the forward pocket. Here come North Melbourne. That might not have been touched. He's put it through, Peter German. Two goals to German, and that's worth its weight in gold, that one. They've got the breeze in the third term, North Melbourne, and they've turned a 28-point deficit at quarter time into a lead of 10 points early in the third quarter. 12 goals, 8 to 11 goals, 4. All venues, David Mackay. 28-point lead to Melbourne at the 6-minute uh, six mark. It's uh, Melbourne 10-5-65, leading St Kilda 5-7-37. Phil? 45-point advantage to Essendon, and we've played 5 minutes in the third quarter. 10-11-71, Brisbane Bears 3-8-26. Bob? Geelong by 17 points. 6-8-44, Footscray 4-3-27. About the most important goal of this match has just been kicked by Peter German. It's North Melbourne by a kick and a half now, and it's getting serious for Fitzroy. The tide is rolling against them, and North are back into attack through Rock after the ball up. Fitzroy controlling the ball, but Carey there to make it a contest with McCarthy and Seacamp. But Fitzroy prevail as uh, the kick from McCarthy is up to the wing and well marked by Paxman. Under the Elliott stand, the Lions need to kick the next one. In towards centre half forward goes the kick. Ross Lyon has uh, manoeuvred out of the contest. At the fall of the ball, Scholl overran it for North. Goes back for another go, tackled. Can't get a clean disposal away. They're slipping and slithering and sliding. In goes Zanotti, threw the ball out to Wind. No free kick. Wind a centering kick was clever, but Fitzroy not able to capitalise. Now they might. Armstrong, he was on the preferred kicking boot but he didn't kick he hand passed and now a free kick's gone north melbourne's way and a kangaroo player fairly is it is down injured holding his left shoulder Ooh, yes and they could be an injury strife they've got one out of the game in ross smith two lately's gone too, and lately as well they could be down to 17. they are okay the free kick has gone to uh, clarkson to kick some half back a free kick over the shoulder on, on the half forward flank to fitzroy's elliott he's about uh, two kicks out and just keep an eye on that player, Tim. He's up and about, but gee, he doesn't look good. He's almost down for the count of eight. Now, Elliot kicks to set a half forward. Up they go, lying over the top of the pack, got into the back of a North Melbourne player. He was third or fourth in line and reached over and got onto the back of, uh, it would have been Darren Crocker as the doctor comes out to Fairley. He was not feeling fairly good at the moment. The kick by Crocker back towards the middle. The Cadams mark, quick hand pass. A bit too slick, I think, for German. He couldn't get a kick to it. He's brought to it, picked up by Baldwin. High ball back towards the middle, out wide, up they go, Lyon is there, kick off the ground by Blakey of North Melbourne, out towards the half forward line, socked off the ground by Elliott, and it's out of bounds on the outer side. Crackers, I think Ian Fairley's just won his toughness certificate, they took a stretcher out for him and he waved it away. It's the old AC joint though, North it's Melbourne. hard to beat. 12-8. Fitzroy 11-4, boundary throw in on the outer side, the rain tumbling down, almost torrential, coming to it is uh, Armstrong, now Broderick gets the hand pass towards the point of the square, Armstrong goes in to lend a hand, the ball flicked out of the pack, who's there, man, his hand passes, intercepted, players falling down everywhere, player gets a push in the back, no he didn't, I did say he got a push in the back, but I think he faked it, and that was good umpiring by the field umpire and there'll be a ball up just wide of centre. So North with the only goal in the third term, and they've taken a 10-point lead, 80 to 70. Almost seven minutes in, 
Fairly is soldiering on in incessant driving rain. From the ball up, Larkin possession. Left foot kick into the corridor for the Kangaroos. Just forward of the centre. Allison over the ball. Gets around McCarthy. Kicks in and beyond centre half forward. Longmire had it on the bounce and then lost it. He tries to paddle it, literally to carry, but it didn't find him. In goes German for the Kangaroos. Hand pass to Longmire, being forced away from goal, but working hard. Gives it off to Stevens, but his kick... Smothered, not smothered, his kick was uh, delivered under pressure and sprays out of bounds on the full off into the crowd. So it's a free kick to Fitzroy between the back pocket and the half-back flank. We're seven and a half minutes into the term. North lead by 10 points, 12-8 to 11-4. Kick by Wine from uh, back pocket up towards the half-back line. <laughs> Fitzroy player, uh, Baldwin's going to get a free kick and North have kicked the ball away. He's looking for 50 metres, so a slight delay. All venues quickly, David Mackay. 27-point lead to Melbourne at the 10.5 minute mark. It's Melbourne 10-5-65, leading St Kilda 5-8-38. Phil? It's uh, the Bombers by 46 points at the 9-minute mark, 11-12-78 to the Brisbane Bears for 8-32. Robert? Geelong by 18 points, 6-9-45, Footscray 4-3-27. Back here at Princess Park, the kick by Baldwin from half-back, kick off the ground by, by Rock. He's going to get a free kick for uh, over the shoulder. He's right below our radio commentary position. Fitzroy. 11-4, North Melbourne 12-8, the kick by Rock, into centre half forward for Carey with the long sleeves. Can't mark, had a couple of grabs out of Anthony Dwight, tackled by Paxman, oh. a bit high over the shoulder, and a free kick to be taken by, uh, by the player Dwyer, about 60 metres out directly in front. Now he comes in, goes for the long ball. It's going to land about 15 metres out from goal. Off the pack, almost a chance here. Picked up by Roberts, kicks it over his shoulder and he's put it through for a goal. North Melbourne by 16. The goal kick by Mark Roberts and they skip away now. 13 goals, 8 to Fitzroy, 11 goals, 4. Crackers? Well, all I'll say is the umpire's a lot closer than me. I'm glad he is because I'd hate to be trying to answer that criticism when their umpire advisor is up the same height as me, has a crack at him about it. But a nice goal by, uh, by Roberts then. Turn round, very cool customer. He really does know how to kick a goal under pressure. That was a nice goal. 16-point lead to North, who stopped the rot and have turned things right around. From the ball up, Lyon helps it on for Fitzroy. Socket further on, in towards half-forward for the Lions. Over the ball is McGregor, paddles it from the 50. Another 10 or 15 metres forward, but he can't keep it in play, and there'll be a throw-in. Up towards the left-forward pocket. Fitzroy in attack. And desperate for a goal, because North have come from nowhere and have taken charge, and 16 points in uh, very heavy rain and on a, a wet ground is going to take a lot of pegging back. Mann has done well, he gets the knock, a Fitzroy North Melbourne player lurches out of a pack, holding his head, and it's a free kick to the Kangaroos to be taken by German, who started the ball rolling in this half with his second goal. From inside the defence of 50, he lobs it out on the southern wing. No one can mark. Reading it well, Dunstan, out towards the boundary line. The ball beats him, though, and so there's going to be a throw-in. Barely North Melbourne's attacking side of the wing, southern side of the ground. The Kangaroos 13-8. The Lions 11-4. Third term on three of those match of the day. Just over 10 minutes in. Boundary throw in. Manson takes the ball out of the air. Can't get his boot to it. The ball falls at his feet. It comes out of the pack from McAdam. Doesn't kick it very far. Zanotti is there. Players losing their footing. Out there is Boyd. Goes to ground as well. And But he knocks the ball out to Wine. But Fitzroy going backwards. Wine gets it out to Boyd. Boyd's hand pass a poor one. Picked up there by, I think it was Blakey, who kicks towards centre half foot. Off the pack, Allison. 40 metres out. Kicks in towards the forward pocket. But Cadam dives into it and takes the beauty. Handball to Longmire, open goal, and they're 22 points in front. Longmire's third. And there's a fight in midfield. Ischenko and Manson and one or two others getting involved. It's been too. on for about three or four minutes, and they were letting the bombs go a bit earlier, let me tell you. Up till quarter time, Fitzroy outscored uh, North by eight goals to three, but since then, it's 11-3, and Manson's been reported. North Melbourne, 14-8. Fitzroy, 11 goals, four. Stanley? Yes, well, they just have got control, haven't they? As you mentioned, people like uh, like uh, German around the packs, those little quick kicks out and things like that. Just, I thought it was excellent play by Allison, that uh, that vision under pressure to get that kick back to uh, to McAdam. And McAdam on his knees, he had a look around to make sure nobody was coming in to chase uh, Longmire. He just, from his knees, just gave him a little handball in. It's those little things, little teamings. They really have got control of the game now. It's a big test from Fitzroy to push back from here. 
Big James better hope the ink runs and the umpire can't read it and can't remember at the end of the day. His name's gone into the book and he is not one bit happy. Ischenko beats him in ruck and then beats him a second time. Careful Fitzroy. Free kick to the Lions. Broderick running away with the ball. The umpire says it's got to come back and Johnston takes it in the centre circle. As this game has slipped right away from them, he kicks towards McGregor, who marks on his chest 70 metres from goal. And that's a long way in this weather. Kick towards full forward. Front position Lynch. They really need something from him. Might have copped it over the shoulder. Manson gets a boot onto the ball. It slides towards the line. But the kangaroo defence closes. As Seacamp was trying to get a boot onto it, Scholl came sliding across his leg and took it through for a behind. And Manson now has the runner talking to him, and I think giving him a bit of a dressing down. And Big James is not too happy with him either. North at 14.892, Fitzroy 11.571. Kick in by Clarkson and Seacamp, and the ball punched away, but Seacamp recovers well. Kicks in towards an unguarded goal. It's just to the right, offline, and through for a behind to Fitzroy. Now we've played 13 minutes in the third term. Score check, Fitzroy 11-6, trail North Melbourne 14 goals 8. And the ball will be put in by Clarkson once again. From the Robert Heatley stand with the breeze behind him. Kicks outside 50. Ishenko there. Paxman the punch. The punch on by, I think it was German, up towards the wing. McAdam looking for free kick. He'll get it. Doesn't miss out on many. Gets the hand pass out wide to Archer. Armstrong is there. Archer's got the front position. And uh, McAdam does well with a hip and shoulder. Handball back on play to, uh, who's it, Carey or Ashenko? Kicks up towards half forward. Now there's a whistle. What's happening out Well, here? he actually played a free kick and then called advantage. Everybody stood back wondering what was going and the ball just slid on down the ground and got out of bounds. Tell okay. you what, it hasn't been a big exhibition by those umpires today. 13 minutes in the third term. Boundary throw in. Knocked down by Paxman straight to Archer, though, who lost possession. And we might go around the grounds because, no, there's going to be a free kick. He's plucked it out of the pack. An invisible player underneath the pack. I could not see for the life of me who it was. It looks like Johnston out there has got the free kick for Fitzroy. Around the outer wing, almost a mark to Fitzroy. Should have been paid oh. just about in these conditions. And Dunstan emerges. The umpire spotted the free, and it's coming back. Slight delay, one by one. David Mackay. Melbourne by 33 points at the 17-minute mark. It's Melbourne 11 71 Leading St Kilda, 5 8 38. Phil, time for you. 64-point advantage to Essendon at the 15-minute and 15-second mark of the third quarter. 14-12-96 to Essendon, Brisbane, a 4 8 30. Roderick's free kick. He finds Boyd. Boyd kicks to half-forward. Ashenko kick knocks the ball back in towards the middle. On the end of it is Larkin. Kicks into centre half-forward. Coming out was Harding. The umpire spotted the free. It's going to Fitzroy for a push. And it's coming back to uh, Harding. Or is it McCarthy? No, Walking. it's... Uh, it's uh, Hawking, rather, did I say Harding? Hawking goes short and finds Boyd at centre-half back. Runs up to 50, he's defending. Kicks up towards centre-half forward. Pushing and shoving in the pack. It's going to be a North Melbourne free kick to be taken by Crocker. And Lynch is going off the planet. Oh. And he's uh, conceded 50. He's obviously said something to the field umpire. And he has been given a very hefty 50. Well, Bobby Skilton. A 12-point lead to Geelong. 6 six ten forty six. Footscray, 5-4-34 after 17 minutes. Now, Crocker's got the free kick. 60 out, drop punt. It's a big kick. It's going to be in the goal square. Longmire goes up. Now, there's a North Melbourne player. He's reported. He's been uh, reported. Zanotti. Zanotti. He's gone to ground. It was... Uh, For Roberts. It was Roberts. And Zanotti can't believe that he's... Got. Has he been reported? He did go around and have a look at his number. Yeah, he's been reported. He's, he's been reported. Him okay. So, two reports. Zanotti and Manson... And he's throwing his arms to the heaven, Mark Zanotti. He cannot believe it. Well, Zanotti's uh, saying that as the ball was in the air, he's thrown his hand in an attempt to knock the ball away. And the umpire's booked him for striking. Roberts will kick a goal and has. North Melbourne 15-8, Fitzroy 11 goals 6. So Roberts gets his second. He's been a very good player for North Melbourne this season. And North have got this game pretty much parceled up. We've seen Fitzroy... Up here at Princess Park in the final term, on many occasions, Storm home and snatch a game. But the way they've gone at the moment, the body language we talk about each week is certainly beyond them. North Melbourne 15-8, Fitzroy 11-6, uh, Crackers. Well, the umpires have absolutely lost control of this game. There was a couple of free kicks there. One to Manson turned around for him. He was first cap in the rank. Then a 50, then a report. They have just lost the plot. 26-point lead to the Kangaroos. Manson and Ischenko. Those... Uh, 
mutual antagonists. Off the pack, Stevens no Sockers on for North Melbourne. Larkin, who's pretty good, leads in the race. He picks up and does very well to get a quick kick in towards the 50. Off the pack, North in possession. Stevens again. Kicks in towards full forward. Here comes Roberts. He can run into an open goal. He has to try and banana kick. And it goes right across the face and finishes 30 metres from goal out in the other pocket. Longmire working hard. Gets there first. Swings it back to full forward. Off the pack, it is rushed through for a behind. It's all North. Longmire, a real workhorse for them today. 15.999 to 11.672. The Kangaroos by 27 points. We've crossed the 17-minute mark. Kick in by Hawking out towards Boyd, who slipped, but he knocks the ball to his feet and allows Elliott to pick it up, and Elliott's at half-back flank. Kicks around the northern wing, and the ball bounces just near the boundary line as Paxman got a little bit of a shove there from Mishenko, but not enough to deem to be a free kick. North Melbourne, 15-9. Fitzroy, 11 goal six. And the equal favourites for this year's flag, although I think the West Coast Eagles may have firmed into about 5-2 to two and North out to 3-1 to one after last week. Boundary throw in, knocked down by Ashenko. Taken away there by Broderick. His high ball is out on the full. It was Armstrong, in fact. And there's going to be a free kick to Rock. No, will he give it to someone else? Stevens? Yes, it's going to be Stevens' free kick right below us. North kicking to our left of the main scoreboard. Kicks long. In towards half forward. Up goes Kerry. Can't mark. Spills behind. Kick off the ground by Larkin. In towards the goal square. Longmire is there. Had a fist to it. Couldn't mark it. Being Harris there. The ball comes out of the pack. Zanotti is there. Picked up by Anthony Dwyer. Picks it up. 30 metres out. Screws back towards the forward pocket. But on the bounce it goes over. Right in front of the main scoreboard at Prince's Park. Which shows North Melbourne leading by 15-9 to 11 goals 6. We'll check the other scores in just a tick. Boundary thrown. Roberts knocks it down, takes the ball out of the air. Claimed there by Broderick. Lost possession. Broderick's going to get the free kick and against Roberts, and that was a, a good decision. David McKay at Waverley. 33-point lead to Melbourne at the 22-minute mark. It's Melbourne 11-5-71, leading St Kilda 5-8-38. Phil? Essendon, the 76 points in front at the 19 and a half minute mark. 16, 12, 108 to Brisbane, 4, 8, 32. But that's going to change. Essendon, a goal, shot for goal, 20 metres out. Bob. 21 minute mark, and it's an 11 point lead to Geelong. 6, 10, 46. Footscray, 5, 5, 35. The weather clearing at Prince's Park. The damage has been done, though, for the Roys, who didn't perform well while it was raining. From the ball up, nothing happening. Pack around the ball as ugly as they come and umpire Goldsmith comes in and will ball it up deep on North Melbourne's right half forward flank the game being played in just one half of the ground now 70 metres from North goal made all the running in this quarter at the ball up Paxman does well for Fitzroy works it clear of the pack technical free kick plucked out goes to Wine they really have plucked them from all angles in this quarter and in fact, throughout the day, it has been one of the more confusing displays from the men in white, Darren Goldspink and Murray Bird. Now the ball finishes up out in the gutter under the fence. Jimmy Wine has to go and collect it for himself. Now takes his kick. Kicks up towards the southern wing. Lynch has come right up the ground. Crocker out positions him but can't mark. Rock possession, hand pass to Clarkson. Ducks the head, gets the high tackle and wins the free... No, it's holding the ball. And fair enough too. It goes to Lynch. He puts the Lions into attack. Looking for uh, C Camp. He couldn't get into the act. There's a free kick. Fitzroy's way. Jack, how many free kicks in this quarter? 20 free kicks in 20 minutes. One a minute. An extraordinary number. It rarely happens these days. The free kick goes Fitzroy's way to Lyon, who prods a pass towards a lead from Satori. He can't take a mark. Scholl doing very well, using a German rather, using the body most effectively. Wins a free kick, hand passes to Blakey, who kicks for the left boot. The target for it, though, uh, Allison falls over. Taken away by Baldwin. Kicks it towards full forward, and a Fitzroy mark taken by Seacamp. And a beauty with the slippery footy. 20 metres out directly in front. Big James is coming off, and he's going to be replaced by Jeremy Gard for the Lions. Manson off guard on. Seacamp should kick Fitzroy's first goal of this quarter and edge them back to within 21 points. Now, with the weather clearing, it's not unwinnable from there. Now, the ground is very wet, and there won't be a lot of goals kicked. Seacamp shouldn't miss this. Kicks from 25, and he puts it through for a goal. So the Lions edge back. North of 15, 999. Fitzroy, 12, 678. 
We're at the 21 and a half minute mark of the third term. Let's do all grounds. David Mackay. 27 point lead to Melbourne at the 24 minute mark. It's Melbourne 11 71 leading St Kilda 6 8 44. Phil. Oh, the Bombers have just kicked their eighth goal for the quarter and now lead by 88 points. 18 12, 120 to the Brisbane Bears. Lamentable for 8 32. Robert. Geelong by 17 points. 7 10 52. Footscray 5 5 35. Back here at Princess Park on three lows match of the day. 22 minutes third term. The umpire bounces the ball. It's a good one in the uh, muddy conditions. The ball knocked by Ashenko but taken by Elliott. Here comes Fitzroy again. Crocker marks or drops the mark he should have taken. But the ball cleared by Stevens Out wide towards the half... Uh, forward line. Up goes Baldwin. Can't mark the ball. Knocked on by Roberts. Out towards in front of Rock. He's being harassed there by Elliot. He loses the ball. The ball almost picked up by Larkin. He lost it. And eventually Archer goes in and there's a free kick to be taken by Boyd who kicks out wide and Wind has taken the mark. A loose man further down the field. The ball skims into the body of Seacamp. Gets out of a Clarkson tackle. Here come the Royce. Kicks into towards centre half forward. Good spoil there by a, a defender. Would have been uh, Blakey. Knocks the ball with a clean fist about 30 metres further down the field. It's wide of centre and the umpire spotted the free. I'm not sure whether it was for a throw and it's going to Allison wide of centre. So terrific work and defence there by Blakey with that uh, fist. The kick by Allison towards half forward. Kerry can't mark. He's going to get a free kick and McCarthy cannot believe it. And that is very ordinary. Can, can you add me to that can't believe it list? <laughs> I mean, all right. He's the best full forward in the league just about. But, uh, I mean, he's not a protected species. He's been totally outclassed today. He tipped the back of his heels, but he signified push him in the back, which he didn't do. I he's, don't know. Umpires get paid. He's on a 45 degree angle, maybe a little less, a little tighter. He's 50 out and we're right behind the flight of the ball. Kerry's kick. It won't be a goal. It's off to the left and through for a behind. But the century is up for North Melbourne at Princess Park. They're 15-10 to Fitzroy, 12 goal six. Oh, well, I, I'm a bit concerned about this standard of umpiring today. Like, and I don't get very critical of it, but today... It's one of the worst games of umpiring I've seen for a long time by these two umpires. Well, they've maintained their better than even time tempo in this third quarter, Crackers. I think it's 25 free kicks in 24 minutes, which is almost world record stuff. From the kick in, uh, North in possession through Larkin, who hits McAdam on the chest with a beautifully delivered searing pass with that uh, wet cake of soap-like football. Perfect delivery, and isn't it good to see Larkin? playing with such enthusiasm and form. Eight marks, 15 possessions. McAdam in the right forward pocket. Not far in from the boundary line. So it's a very difficult shot for a right foot kick. Scoreboard pocket. On the board, 100 to 78. North by 22. This is an important kick. In he comes, that prodding action. He's missed on the near side, I suspect. Yes, he has. So it's a behind, and McAdam... On my reckoning has, uh, and in my record, three goals, three. North 15-11-101, Fitzroy 12-6-78. They're kicking by Hawking, who has found his target today when kicking in. He can't find it this time, although it's OK for Fitzroy because McCarthy takes the ball off the pack and kicks the ball up towards the half-forward line where Paxman has a sideways hand pass. It's misdirected. He goes back and tidies up. The ball floating towards the boundary and it's been punched away from Harding by Clarkson. Fitzroy about 70 out from goal. And John McCarthy uh, playing with uh, one of Goldie Campbell's gloves on this afternoon. Is it the right-hand glove? Yes, it is. Now, boundary throw-in. 70 out from Fitzroy's goal. North by 23 points. Knocked down by Crocker. Off the pack, Baldwin. Picks it up, kicks inside 50. Good mark taken by Broderick. He's claimed the ball. Freaked out of his body. That must be oh. very close to 50. Well... He's on his preferred side. He's 45 metres out, right forward pocket in front of the Carlton Social Club. Oh, that was close to 50. You really have to ask, what's the difference? Lynch was pulled back 50 in the previous quarter for not returning the ball immediately. Same deal, really, yeah. time-wasting. Now, Broderick, 45 out, drop punts. Won't be a goal. To the front of the edge of the square. Up they go. Fist off the pack. Lynch first to get there. Oh, he lost possession like a cake of soap it was. And it's out of bounds, left forward pocket, right in front of the Carlton dugout. North Melbourne 15-11, Fitzroy 12-6. We played 26 minutes third term. And uh, the game just evening up a little as the rain has disappeared. Sartori flicked it behind, but it wasn't all that effective. Stevens had it, then lost it. Good tackling by Fitzroy. And there's going to be he's going to be penalised. 
play's gone on. Fitzroy, I think, might have kicked a goal now behind. It's coming back. And I've got to be fair, I didn't see what that free kick was for either. Peter, the players don't know what the free kick's for. That's what the, the not the, it's a bemusing part about it is the players do not know. And they are the experts on the game. And they don't know, and they are confused. So, you know, the umpire's doing a great job. Dean Harding's got the free kick. 40 out from goal. Directly in front. A couple of little uh, side steps or little steps as he comes in. I'm not sure whether he's kicked it or not. He hasn't. And it's through for a behind. Well, the players have got to adjust to wet weather by kicking the ball off the ground and keeping it moving. And the umpires have got to adjust their interpretation as well. Fitzroy 12-7, North Melbourne 15-11. Clarkson puts the ball back into play. Off the pack. Paxman slow with the hand pass. A bit lucky not to be penalised. Taken by Baldwin. He props. His back has crashed into and he's awarded a fortunate free kick. Allison is most unhappy about it. As Baldwin took possession of the ball, I guess strictly it was, it was there because he started moving and then he stopped and the man on his hammer could do nothing but crash into the back of him. I can't remember so many players arguing openly with the umpires it's in the game. They've been very frustrated. Baldwin from just outside 50. Lovely long ball. Up goes the pack, Satori hands on a couldn't mark. Lynch now, a left foot snap, and he kicks a goal. And the Lions are lifting, and they edge back to within 17, 16 points, in fact. So this game is not over. It's a beautiful day at Prince's Park now. It just if, happens that the ground is rather wet. 15 11 101 North Melbourne, Fitzroy 13 7 85 at the 28 minute mark. All grounds, David Mackay. Very ordinary out here. It's a 34 point lead to Melbourne at three quarter time. It's Melbourne 12 6 78, leading St Kilda 6 8 44. Phil. We've played 29 minutes into the third quarter and Essendon lead by 94 points. 19 12, 126, the Brisbane Bears. 4.832, Robert. 30 minutes, uh, 30 minute mark, and it's a 30 point lead to Geelong. 9.12.66 to 5.636. From the centre bounce, after that Lynch snap, it uh, brought up his fifth goal. Was Rock getting uh, North Melbourne forward, and the ball knocked on and knocked over by Fitzroy. About 40 metres out from North Melbourne's goal, left half forward flank. Score check North Melbourne 15 11, Fitzroy 13 7, and we're coming up to 29 minutes right on the button now in this third term. Mishenko in ruck, knocks it down, stolen there by McCarthy, but he lost it. Players with their heads over the ball and their bottoms up. Stevens emerges, but the whistle you may have heard in the, the effects bike is gone and there'll be a ball up. 45 out from goal. And maybe if Fitzroy can just hang on in the last minute or two, they might have a chance to get fairly close in the final term with the breeze. Wine looks for free kick. Another Fitzroy player is scragged to the ground. That was Zanotti, and he did not have the ball. And he didn't get a free kick. It's outside 50. I guess we shouldn't start umpiring the game. It's uh, not something we do here on ABC. Now the boundary throw in. Knocked down by Paxman. Kick off the ground by Baldwin. Up towards the half-back line. Seacamp is there. Good work by Mann. Had his body in front. Coming through his Roberts. Or brushes through a tackle beautifully. Goes long. In towards centre half forward. The punch came from Carey. He had to defend because he was behind his man, McCarthy. Punches the ball right across the half-back line. McAdam is there being worried by Zanotti. Zanotti gets a bit of a shove. I'm not sure whether he got pushed or not. He's got a free kick. McAdam says, I didn't even touch him. He's appealing and also verbalising with the field umpire that he didn't get anywhere near him. He's got the free kick and passes to Elliott at centre half-back. Who kicks as long as he can to midfield, but North in possession through Rock. Kicks back to half-board. However, it's a uh, Fitzroy mark on the half-back line. And a hand pass off to uh, Boyd, who swings his kick very high into the air. It doesn't carry to the centre. Off a of pack, Larkin. Hurry kick back into centre half forward. Boyd a double fester. Down to Stevens. Here's Danger. Snaps at goal from 40. Off direction. And through for a behind. North 15 12 102. Fitzroy reviving. 13 7 85. The margin is 17 points at the 31 minute mark of the third quarter. Now kick it by McCarthy, you can see Baldwin, but he's been marked by his uh, opponent, Allison, who goes to ground. This a, well, well, another free kick, but Fitzroy have got it as Broderick gets the hand pass out in front of Zanotti, who can't pick it up. Rock is closing, Zanotti gets it across to another player in Harding. Harding short pass to Wind. The ball knocked down, Wind is roving the pack, but can't get near the ball at the moment. Line is there, there'll be a ball up on 50. Surely blow the, blow the whistle before someone gets hurt. 102 to 85, 31 minutes, third quarter. 
And the game, as I said, since the rain has gone and the breeze, well, I was going to say dropped, but I don't think it has. It's just evened up a little bit, but North have been terrific since quarter time. They led the trail by 28 points. Ball up. Man knocks it the wrong way. A player was held in the pack. It's going against Fitzroy to be taken by Man or Feely, is it? Let's get the glasses up there. Feely. He's doing well with an injured shoulder. North have two incapacitated players on the interchange area. Now, Feely, half-back flank on 50 kicks. Up towards the wing on the John Elliott stand side where we're broadcasting. Knocked down by Boyd. Off the pack, Harding. Lost position and had it. Ooh, um, now McAdam may have got one a bit low and he's hurt. And there's going to be a free kick not to McAdam. Yes, that was uh, a little bit of a terror, that one. As McAdam is injured, he's hurt himself. He's in pain. He's got tears in the eyes, yeah, I'll tell you. part of his body. Now Dwyer's got the free kick on half back. Kicks towards half forward. Off the pack, through it comes. Elliot can't get his boot to the ball. Rock goes to ground. Fitzroy defenders everywhere. Picked up by Broderick. He also lost it. The ball like a, a cake of soap out there. And there'll be a ball up eventually. It's a long quarter. 33 minutes almost on the clock. And North Melbourne lead by 17 points. 102 to 85. I think every quarter's gone 32 minutes or more. They have been long ones. At the ball up. Paxman up, but Ischenko gets the knock. Shark, though, and uh, kick forward by Boyd of Fitzroy up to the wing. A rejuvenated McAdam gives chase. First there is Harding. He's brought down. Slides over the boundary line, and there'll be a throw in. And I fancy we've seen the last goal of the quarter. Indeed, the last score. We've crossed the 33-minute mark. North by 17 points, but the game is alive. At the throw. There it is. Three-quarter time. So the Kangaroos go into the last quarter with a 17-point advantage, 15-12-102 to Fitzroy, 13-7-85. At quarter time, the latter leaders were 28 points down. They clawed their way to a four-point advantage right on half-time and have gone away in the third term with four goals to two to lead by 17 points at the last change. Let's go to all grounds before goal kickers and our summary from here. First, David Mackay at Waverley, where the Demons lead by the best part of six goals. Yes, Tim, a 34-point lead to Melbourne. It's Melbourne 12, 6, 78 lead. Uh, Murray Bird's injury, but uh, this game is not over. It will go to the line. We'll just see who really has got the courage and the conviction to win this game. I hope the umpires decide to put the whistle away and let them play footy. Football on the ABC network. North Melbourne by 17 points. Broderick, 20 possessions. Stevens, 26 for North Melbourne. Centre bounce, 50-50, Jack. And the ball falls at their feet. No, there's a free kick to Fitzroy. Alistair Lynch went across to the umpires before, or just after the three-quarter time break, and before play restarted. Now, Broderick's got the free kick. They trail by 17 points. Six to half forward. Clarkson, a terrific mark, or free kick it was. It's at a half back. The free kick still uh, three-quarter time. Fitzroy 33 and 32 to North Melbourne. Clarkson's hand pass to Fairley. Kicks wide of the centre. The ball punched away. Uh, Larkin runs into trouble. Fitzroy working in numbers. They squeeze the ball out of the pack towards 50. Blake is there. Almost threw himself on top of the ball. Does well. Gets a hand pass on all fours out towards Allison, who's had a fairly quiet day. Allison from the wing. Kicks out wide. Sartori will need a kind bounce. Carey after him. Sartori paddles the ball and is close to the boundary. Elliott runs it over. He gets a bit of a push in the back before it went over, though. He'll take a free kick, so it's significant that Fitzroy has got the first two free kicks of the final term. And North Melbourne lead by 17 points. And the umpire's already ahead of even time in the last quarter. Two free kicks in a minute. There were 29 given in the third term. Kick in towards half forward. McGregor possession. Tackled. It's paid a trip. And I think he was lucky. Certainly the first contact I thought was above the knee, but perhaps the arm slid and he was brought down by virtue of a, a, a trip. So certainly give the umpire the benefit of any doubt in that. Now the man on the mark is standing at 50. New footy at the start of the quarter, but uh, it's a long testing kick. Fitzroy need the first goal. High ball. Has it got the carry? Yes, it's shepherded through for a goal. Great piece of shepherding by uh, Harding back in the square. And McGregor, as he was in the first quarter when he set one up, has been mobbed by his teammates. As the Lions really have some belief flowing back now. North 15-12-102, Fitzroy 14-7-91. They're playing at all other grounds. David Mackay. 42-point lead to Melbourne at the 10-minute mark. It's Melbourne 13-8-86, leading St Kilda 6-8-44. Phil. 
We've played three and a half minutes into the final quarter and Essendon still lead by 99 points, although that will change in a moment. 2012-132 to Brisbane, 4.933. And the 4.933 it'll change because Simons is 15 metres out directly in front. Bob. Six minutes into the quarter and it's Geelong by 45 points. 11-15-81, Footscray 5-6-36. From the centre bounce, Shekhar knocks it down. Baldwin is there, but he lost possession. The ball comes out of the pack. Baldwin has a fresh air shot. Elliot is there. Gets the hand pass to Sartori. Dropped it, though. But uh, does recover. Gets a torp in towards centre half forward. Coming across the half-back line is Man of North Melbourne. Ten points the difference here at uh, Princess Park. Man kicks out wide. That should have been a mark to a North Melbourne player. He's got the free kick, but the mark in these conditions should have been paid. Make that 11 points. 15-12 to 14-7. And <clears throat> Clarkson... He's played pretty well. No, it's Rock. He's got the ball wide of centre. Kicks it a half forward. Terrific pass to Roberts, who took it like a, a dry day football. Now, Buchanan, this way, that away. His option is not good. Sartori's mark at centre half back. And Carey, about three or four possessions only today. Now, Sartori shaped the play on. He's been told to play on. Kicks out wide to Zanotti. Had a couple to beat. Takes the mark and plays on. Kicks the ball around the university wing. Out there first is number 18 at Stunston for Fitzroy. And the ball has gone over, has it? Or is there a, a free kick out there? I heard the whistle. No, no it's gone over. Boundary throw in. Between wing and half forward, Fitzroy just edging into attack. They trail by 11 points. Sartori knocks the ball behind. It's taken by Broderick. Kicks it towards the forward pocket. It's off the pack. Oh, line may have been held, but the ball is out of play. Right forward pocket, just 12 metres around from Fitzroy's behind post, between the behind post and the main scoreboard. So Melbourne doing well at Waverley. The Bombers doing exceedingly well at the MCG. And the Cats, unless they have one of their fade-outs, have got the game wrapped up at Cadenia Park. This game's still in the balance. Boundary throw in, off the pack. Roberts kicks towards, and he's put it out of bounds on the full. Free kick to McGregor. He took the ball out of the air, and he tried to get his boot to it. He did, in fact. But he was slung and it changed direction and it went straight out. Paul Broderick, keen to take the free kick because, because he's, he's a left footer. footer. Yeah. But the umpire was alert to it. Now McGregor, who kicked their last goal, the only one for the quarter, north by 11 points. In front of the scoreboard, it won't be a goal. Did he just sneak it in? No, he didn't. He missed everything. And there'll be a free kick to North Melbourne in the last line of defence. We've got the close one on three LO network stations. North Melbourne 15-12, Fitzroy 14 goals 7. We've got the only close one by the sounds of it. Free kick to North in the last line. Clarkson playing down the back. Kicks to half back. No one able to mark, not surprisingly. First back after it beats the Packers. Elliott goes in board oh, outside close to the boundary line. Lost the footy. Picked up by Larkin. Kicks to the wing. No one can mark. North men come from everywhere. Stevens had it and lost it. He's solidly met though by uh, Johnston. And the ball's picked up now by Baldwin, who kicks forward to the centre for Fitzroy. Man goes sliding after a low one. Can't mark it. It's picked up by McGregor of Fitzroy. He's forced the wrong way. Kicks from behind the centre. Back to half forward. No one can mark. Where are the scouts in the wet? Sea camp. Sockers towards goal. Running onto it now is uh, Lynch and he sockers it through. A goal to Fitzroy and the Lions who look down and out halfway through the third quarter are within a kick as Alistair Lynch kicks his sixth goal. North 15-12-102. Fitzroy 15-7-97. Stanley, we have a ball game. We certainly do have a ball game. It's a very pumped up Fitzroy and uh, just uh, magnificent at the moment. And, and young McGregor, who I've been very impressed with in this game, has continued on and he's been very, very good in these first few minutes of this last quarter. Six minutes in the final term. Centre bounce, one by Ashenko. The first stool, good tackle there by Broderick on Stevens. The ball is prized loose of that player. A player on the ground is grabbed, gets a push in the back. It's going to be a North Melbourne free kick on the attacking side of the centre to be taken by Rock, who's played pretty well. Rock's kick into half forward, up they go. The ball punched behind, goes to Larkin, grabbed there by Elliott, lost position. Archer hand pass, McAdam lines up and has missed from 25 metres out on the run. Pushed it to the right and threw for a behind. And we have a goal, the difference at Princess Park, 15-13 to 15-7. Gilbert McAdam, three goals, four, Longmire, three. Thumping kick uh, back into play from Hawking. No one able to mark it. A free kick to Fitzroy is flowing their way. And you just get the feel of the 
about the game that uh, the trend is very much the Lions' way. Satori, hand pass to Armstrong, low kick into half forward, but Clarkson is the only man there and takes an easy chest mark for North. He kicks short into midfield, too short. Elliott chops it off. It was meant for Larkin. He runs on. He kicks to Lynch, one out with Crocker, and he's marked it. Crocker doing everything, hanging on. Trying to get his body around between Lynch and the ball, but Lynch outstrengthed him and took a beauty and should kick his seventh and put Fitzroy in front. No, level the scores. Some bloke said to me the other day, if Fitzroy happened to be in a bit of strife, this man, they'll be lining up. They'll be going back over the nullarbor trying to get this bloke. They talk about Kerry. This bloke is very good. Takes his time. He's kicking for goal much better than it used to be. Six to his credit today, and he goes wide, but it's good enough. It's a goal. Scores a level at the eight-minute mark of the last quarter. Fitzroy, 16-7-103. North, 15-13-103. David Mackay. 47-point lead to Melbourne at the 16-minute mark. It's Melbourne, 14-8-92. Liddington killed a 6-9-45. Phil. We've played 10 minutes, and Essendon lead by 106 points. 21-15-141 to the Brisbane Bears, 4-11-35. Uh, Bob. Ablett's fifth has put Geelong 57 points in front. 13-15-93. Footscray, 5-6-36. Back here at Princess Park, the fans have come alive. Eight and a half minutes final term, and Fitzroy with the three goals of the uh, of the final term so far. Set a bounce, 50-50. Jack taken by Baldwin. Fitzroy go forward again. The mark is taken by Fitzroy, 48 metres out from goal. Ross line, and the play getting up is Ross line. He's dead in front, with the breeze behind him. He disappeared along with about 17 other Fitzroy players in the third quarter, and uh, certainly. About 10 minutes before half-time. He certainly had an impact on the game before then with three goals straight. And now a chance to make it four. They're in front, but by how much? He's hit the post. It scraped the inside edge about two-thirds way up. Ross line three goals to one. And the Roy boys are a point in front. 16-8 to 15-13. Nine and a half final term. Crackers? Well, the, the way they're going, and the going, the momentum will probably push them over the line. They're playing pretty good football at the moment. And North has stopped. This is blowtorch to the stomach uh, time, this one. Blakey puts it back into play. Ischenko, the target, brings it down to Scholl. Kicks with the left boot. Around the southern wing. First there, though, is uh, a, a Fitzroy man in Dunstan. He couldn't uh, get a clean disposal on, but still Fitzroy a chance. There's a free kick. Fitzroy's way between wing and half forward flank against McAdam. He held on well after the ball had gone, and Armstrong's got a tip. To put the Lions into attack, good and proper. They lead by a point at the 10 minute mark. Armstrong kicks in towards half forward. Lynch trying to get into the contest. Crocker got the body in the right spot. Lynch gives away a free kick. So this time a North Melbourne ball. Well done, Crocker. That time he out-positioned Lynch, who's had the drop on him with seven goals. Crocker kicks around the half-back flank. Ischenko up in front, can't mark. At the fall again is Scholl. A hand pass off to Clarkson. Hurried left footer. Up towards the wing. Carey attacks the ball. Traps it nicely. Good hand pass to Larkin, but he's well retarded and ultimately dispossessed. Now Fitzroy around the ball in numbers. Sartori, though, has a couple of uh, good men to beat. Scholl takes it away. Hand pass to Carey. North on the burst. Kicks to Longmire. He marks at the 50. I reckon he might be too far out with the wet ball. But they're working it up into the business end of Princess Park. Up at the Heatley stand end. In comes Longmire from right on the 50. Drop punt kick. Has just about got the carry. Carey tried to mark it. It's touched through for a behind. A goal the difference. Fitzroy, 16... Scores a level. Scores a level. 16 8, 104 to 15 14, 104, 11 minutes into the term. The kick in by Simon Hawking for uh, Fitzroy. Well outside 50 into the centre square. Sartori up, but he fell backwards but lost possession. Baldwin picks up, kicks the ball beyond the centre. Up goes Seacamp. The ball uh, punched away by a man. Socked off the ground by the speech to McGregor. The butcher. McGregor's got the front position. Had it, then lost it. Kick off the ground by it would have been Harding. Dean Harding of Fitzroy further down the ground. And uh, lucky not to go out on the full, but uh, it's in play. About 65 out from goal. Right half forward flank, Fitzroy to the main scoreboard end and the breeze. But uh, they can kick at both ends, as we've seen in this game so far. The boundary throw in. 
Up they go in ruck, knocked down by Seacamp. It wasn't all that effective. Elliott is there, front of the pack, 60 out. Kicks into a couple of players. The ball picked up there by Clarkson. Kicks out wide towards the city wing, knocked on by Allison. Let's see who's further down the field. It's hugging the boundary line, and it takes a break, a leg break, and goes over as Allison gains about 25 to 30 metres. Score check. Scores are level. 16-8-104 Fitzroy. North Melbourne, 15-14-104. Boundary throw in almost on the wing, but just on North Melbourne's attacking side. Eschenko and Sartori in ruck. Eschenko wins. Ball knocked away by uh, by Elliott. In front of the pack is Scholl. Lost possession. He was tackled late. A boundary throw in almost in the same position. Scores a level at Prince's Park. And the ball almost on the wing. Just North Melbourne's attacking side. Satori versus Ischenko in ruck. Satori's done some pretty good things for Fitzroy today. Ischenko outstrengths him. It falls to Stevens. Kicks up and down on the one spot. Satori and Ischenko contest again. Larkin takes it when it hits the deck. Good hand pass to Allison. Another to McAdam. Centering left footer is clever. Paxman up in front, brings it down straight to Carey. Oh, his hand pass is well smothered though by Hawking. Great work by the defender. And he forces a ball up now, pursuing the ball after he deflected it away as Carey constructively shot off a hand pass that looked dangerous for Fitzroy but Hawking getting a hand to it flicking it clear and then forcing a ball up about 35 metres out North deep in attack in ruck Satori but straight to McAdam a swinging left footer is very wide out on the full a free kick to Fitzroy as the game reaches great heights now Fitzroy climbing back into it when they look beaten. And now North realising they've got to find another effort and they're digging deep. Now free kick to Dunstan. We'll check the other scores one by one in just a moment. Dunstan's kick from the Carlton dugout. Out wide, almost to Mark Deschall. Knocked away by Sartori. But it's picked up uh, out on the half-back line by German. German's kicked the half-forward to spoil McCarthy behind the back. Well roved by Baldwin. Punches the hand pass out to Guard. Guard on the half-back line. Goes around the outer wing. Up goes Archer. Ball punched away. It comes out of the pack towards Armstrong. He's got about three or four to beat. Weight of numbers loses it for him. Picked up by German. German's kicked to Carey, up goes Paxman, punches the ball away, through the pack is Rock, making something out of nothing, knocks the ball onto Fairley, Fairley's kicking towards full forward, now oh, Sheko can soccer off the ground, but the ball's been rushed through by Fitzroy, and North lead by a point. North 15-15, Fitzroy 16-8, David Mackay at Waverley. 46 point lead to Melbourne at the 22 minute mark, it's Melbourne 14-8-92, Lettingson Kilda 6-10-46. We'll do them one at a time, the ball back in play here, Satori a hand pass meant for guard, came unstuck, Stephen soccers it to within 30 metres of goal, hard at the ball fairly, can't go all the way, over it now Dunstan, paddles to Elliott, can't get around Longmire but hand passes effectively to Satori who kicks to midfield, an easy mark drop by McGregor and then he fumbles the wet ball. Scholl soccers it wide for McAdam. Bearing down guard and Jimmy Wind. Wind dives in. McGregor goes back for another dip. Atoning for his error. And Fitzroy would come out of it all with a free kick. Uh, and good kicking. McAdam's got to stop his theatrics and uh, guard the mark just because a free go against him. That's the third time he's run over to have a go at the umpire. He was a bit stiff, but it's a free kick to McGregor, who puts the Roys into attack to half forward. Ball beats the pack, slides to the 50. Zanotti knocks it on. Zanotti breaks clear. Brilliantly tackled and brought down. Here's a chance for Fitzroy, though. An open goal, and Harding drives it through. The Roys are in front by a goal at the 16-minute mark. Five points, in fact. 17-8-110 to North. 15-15-105 as we reach the 16-minute mark of the final term. Let's complete that around the grounds. Phil Pinnell at the MCG. Bombers by 112 points at the 17-minute mark. 22-16-148, Brisbane 4-12-36. Bobby. 21 minutes in and it's a 65 point lead to Geelong. 15, 17, 107, 6, 6, 42, Footscray. Football on the ABC Grandstand Network from Princess Park from 3LO in Melbourne. 16 minutes in the final term. Sartori knocks it to himself. Spins out of trouble. Gets the hand pass away to Broderick. Broderick's hand pass to Elliott. Kicks into the pack though. It's still just near the centre circle. Stevens is there. Should get a free kick for pushing the back and does. And that, uh, he got a clip right at the base of the back of the neck. Gee, been a good player, yeah, he's played he? very well. Fitzroy, 17-8, 110. North Melbourne, 15-15, 105. Tomorrow, from 1.30, we're broadcasting Richmond and Collingwood. 
Uh, it's a two o'clock start and 2.15 over at Subi. So we've got a terrific overlap for half time and after the game, Carlton and West Coast. Both games covered tomorrow on ABC Radio. Now he can't take his kick, so Larkin does. Kicks to half forward through the pack. And it's taken off the pack by Armstrong. Kicks the ball back from whence it came. Sidnotti is there. This way, that away. On Archer does well. Kicks the ball in towards the forward pocket. Skims into the uh, into the tummy of Lynch. He's 50 out. Sittering kicking towards half forward. Up goes German. The ball punched away by a teammate, though. And in that scrimmage, there was a free kick against Fitzroy. I didn't see it. I was watching the ball further down the field. Clarkson's got it between the fullback and centre half back, with North Melbourne trailing by five points. Clarkson gets a call from Carey, who's come into the back half, hugs the ball to his chest as Clarkson chips the path, pass. First mark, thank you, Jack Cameron. Carey kicks to Roberts. Marks between half-back and wing. Elliott stands side. Fitzroy 110, North 105 at the 18-minute mark. Roberts kicks almost uh, into the centre, just beyond. Long by a lead, but it was well marked for North Melbourne by Mann. Hand pass to German. He fumbles, could open the door. Free kick to Fitzroy. Player held when not in possession. Elias takes it just outside the centre circle. Puts the Roys into attack. High ball into half forward. Lynch in front was held and takes a free kick. Rightly so. Had the glasses on it. He was definitely retarded. Had him by the shorts, actually. <laughs> he was slinging him around by the shorts. Kerry's gone to centre half back. And Lynch is going to have a shot from just inside the 50 to give Fitzroy an 11 point lead. What a fluctuating game it's been. Fitzroy by 28 at quarter time. North in front by four points at halfway and kicked to a 17 point lead at the last change. In fact, led by four goals halfway through the third quarter. Lynch now to give Fitzroy an 11 point lead. He's kicked seven from about 48 metres. A handsome looking drop punt, but he's hooked it and it's a behind. And the Lions lead by one straight kick. 17-9-111. The Kangaroos at 15-15-105. Stan, what do you think? Oh, all momentum is with uh, Fitzroy at the moment. There's no doubt about that. Uh, it's going to take a big effort by North to get out of this one. Kick in by Blakey. Out towards the half-back line. Good mark out there. Should be paid to Scholl, and rightly so. On the half-back flank. In fact, he's, he's paying over the shoulder, Jack. Anyway, he certainly took the mark. Kick by Scholl. Wide of centre. Up towards half-forward. Longmire up. Couldn't mark through the pack. A chance there for Dwyer, lost it. And let's see who's going to emerge. It'll kick out of the pack. Wine sockers towards the middle of the ground. German there picks up, quickly gets the ball on his left boot. The ball bouncing towards centre half forward. Roberts is there, and so is Fairley. Fairley's hand pass onto Rock. Rock kicks down towards the goal square. The ball punched, a free kick in. The man in front was Paxman. Ashenko came out of his shoulder. Paxman's free kick, handballed across to McCarthy, who's been superb all day. Kicks out wide, picked up by Stevens. Stevens hand pass down to Allison. Runs away from Harding. Lines up, 40 metres out. No, he doesn't. Oh. Goes square to Fairley. And Fairley's marked 35 out directly in front. Terrific vision by Brett Allison. He's been a fairly quiet player today. I think Baldwin was the player that, uh, well, he was on. I think he's still on him as well. Ian Fairley. He's kicked one. He's dead in front. Robert Heatley stand in from 35. The back man comes in and he's put it through. Scores are level and Fairley's got his second goal. What a match here at Princess Park. Fitzroy 17-9, North Melbourne 16-15. Just the margins all venues. David Mackay. Melbourne have won by 46 points, Phil. 112 points in favour of Essendon. 22 minutes gone, Bob. And Geelong by 60 points. All lopsided affairs. Victories to Melbourne, Essendon and Geelong, although two of them are still in progress. And here, the contrast couldn't be sharper. Scores are dead level, 111 apiece. 21 minutes last quarter. Who's got that uh, last gasp to provide? Roderick onto the crumb from the ball up. Lost it. Rock to Stevens. A hand pass over his head. Roy's back in numbers. Elliott over the ball. Couldn't pick it up cleanly. And there'll be a ball up just north's attacking side of the centre circle. Tremendous struggle. Swinging one way and then the other. The umpire bounces. Does well. Satori gets the knock. Elliott knocks it on. Scholl had it but lost it. Seacamp a short kick forward but there's a whistle of North free kick. Goes to Scholl. Puts the Kangaroos into attack. Longmire wrestles with Hawking. Appeals for the mark. He hasn't been paid. He's tackled. And the umpire's going to ball it up. Longmire claimed it was his from behind. Umpire Bird says no. 
A ball up 35 metres out from North Melbourne's goal as the Kangaroos look for a score to hit the front. Longmire a bit unlucky, I think. 35 out, he knocks the ball from that ball up towards goal. Roberts might suck her off the ground. No, a Fitzroy player dived on the ball 15 metres out from North Melbourne's goal and there'll be a ball up. Desperation stuff from a Fitzroy player. I'm not sure who it was. It could have been Harding or Dunstan number 18. But someone just threw themselves over the ball as Roberts was about to... Soccer through, ball up, knocked out of the pack and the ball going away from North's goal for the moment and let's see, picked up by Logmire, 35 out, kicks in towards the pocket, he's missed everything, out of bounds on the full, free kick to Baldwin, the Fitzroy, just near the Carlton Social Club stand, scores a level on three of Lowe's match of the day, 17-9 Fitzroy to 16-15 North Melbourne. Now Baldwin from back pocket, kicks out towards our broadcast or northern side, out there is Johnson waiting for it behind the pack. Through the pack comes Stevens. Jumps over a player. Does well. 60 out. Cetrin kicking towards centre half forward. The ball skims away from Longmire. To McGregor's advantage. Clears the ball out towards Armstrong. Who uh, dropped one. It slips straight through his fingers. So German kicks the ball right across the uh, outer halfback flank. And a golden opportunity for Fitzroy. McGregor kicked it. Armstrong led. Did well. But the ball seemed to be just past him as he uh, flung his hands out and being so wet it just skimmed away and an easy clearance across the halfback line by German scores the level boundary throw in Archer up gets it down to McGregor again still on the wing kicks it up and under ball and Armstrong underneath it knocks the ball 20 metres further down the field about 70 out from goal Larkin is there but to Fitzroy's advantage the boundary line looms beats Larkin over boundary throw in 65 out Fitzroy into attack scores a level 23 and a half final term and I reckon if ever a game deserved to be a draw, this is it. And remember, Fitzroy have lost four this year by under 10 points, and North's only three defeats have been by under 10 points. From the throw-in, Schold kicks up and down on the one spot. Just outside Fitzroy's 50. North emerges though. Clearing kick from Dwyer to Ooh. Carey. Almost took a gutsy mark in the middle of two, but he couldn't quite hang on to it. And there's going to be a ball up right on the centre line. I thought it was a big effort. Sartori. I thought, he marked, Gee, it. I I thought, thought he Sartori actually marked, marked it. it. Running back into them. He's got his face. He looks like uh, something off the black and white minstrel show, Peter Sartori. Roberts against him in ruck. Free kick goes to Sartori. Maybe the umpire agrees with you a little retrospectively, Stanley. I think I think he might have played that against McCannum. McCann, as he bounced it, McCannum went in and tried to get it before the ball even sort of come up past the umpire. Satori from on the centre line. Kicks to half forward. North with numbers in the air. At ground level. Rock held when not in possession. A clear North Melbourne free kick. He's on the half back line. We are 10 seconds from time on and scores a level at Princess Park. 17-9-111 Fitzroy. 16-15-111 North. Rock at centre half back from the 50 he's defending. Kicks up over the centre. Up they go, punched down by, it would have been the Hawking of Fitzroy. Wide of the pack, it's picked up by North Melbourne's Larkin. Kicks towards half forward, player being held, Fitzroy free kick at centre half back. And it's uh, Johnston at centre half back. Now he has to be very careful how he places this delivery. He's about 30 out from the goal, he's defending, or he kicks out wide, he's put the pressure there on Baldwin, who, no, it's a guard who doesn't let him down, North Melbourne players down behind play, it's McCannum, kicked by guard to the half forward line, it skims off the fingers of the pack, and it's still in, no, it's not in play, but a 65 out from Fitzroy's goal, left half forward flank, as Boyd prepares to come on, the sun shining here at Princess Park. All the four seasons in one today. Almost snow conditions at one stage. Off the pack. Man gets it down. And it's cleared by North Melbourne out towards the wing. Baldwin tries to keep it in desperately. There wasn't a North Melbourne player within 10 metres. But he couldn't do so. A boundary throw in right below us. 111 apiece. Four goals to one in the last quarter. Fitzroy's way. With 26 minutes in. You'd think about a 30-minute quarter. They've all been pretty long. Satori does very well down to Broderick. Can't break away. Hand passes to Wine, who looks for a free kick and gets it. Oh, that looked fortunate. He's between wing and half forward flank. How many this quarter, Jack? 12 to 7, Fitzroy's way, Jack Cameron tells me. Now, what's happening? A whistle as Wine came in to kick the ball. The umpire's clearing the mark. And he's, Wines he's fell cramped. over as he kicked. He's really in trouble, cramping in the right leg. But the umpire bringing the ball back. And I think he's going to allow Baldwin, is he, to uh, take a free kick, take the kick? 
very confusing. Wine kicked the ball. The umpire was telling the both players, including Ball and his own man, to get away from the mark because he felt he was in, impeding the man on the mark who was guarding. And uh, that was the reason for the free. But, gee, in a game like this, you just let it go. Use a little bit of common sense, State I think. confusion. Kick from Wine. Clears the 50. Not much there for Fitzroy. Picked up by Mann. Kicks back towards the wing. Close to the boundary. Ball went onto it. Slips as he kicks. Gets it in towards the half-forward flank. Seacamp possession. Gets a hand pass on. Boyd's kick semi-smothered. In towards full forward at Ricochets. Taken by Larkin. Hand pass to German. Kicks back to half-back for North. And Rock hugs the mark to his chest as the kangaroos have to fight hard in defense gets a short pass out to man on the point of the square man's kicked to the point of the square at half forward up goes Longmire. almost had it but not the ball taken off the pack and cleared there by hawking up towards the wing skims off their fingers up towards fitzroy's half forward line blakey there he's claimed as he kicks the ball and underneath it is baldwin he's on the wing right below our radio commentary position baldwin now he plays right around McAdam, gains about five metres, kicks the ball, it's going to land about 40 out. The ball behind the pack, Zanotti, can he get his boot to it? He goes to ground, did he get a push? No. The ball left behind, picked up by Armstrong. He can score, he has scored. A behind. A behind and has put Fitzroy in front. Fitzroy in front by one point here at Princess Park. 28-18 in the final term. It's Fitzroy 17-10, North Melbourne 16-15. Repeating it widely, it was St Kilda 6-10 going down to Melbourne 14 goals 8. Easy wins to Essendon and Geelong at the other venues. Fitzroy by a point. About a minute and a half left as Blakey thumps the ball back into play. Carey up. Couple of bites at it. Has been awarded the mark. Milling pack around the ball. North have got to try and work it clear. And they do. Roberts a hand pass to Stevens. Kick clears the centre. Slides towards half forward. Hawking knocks it towards a teammate. Under pressure Fitzroy. Dunstan helps it on. Broderick a hand pass to Satori. Another to Baldwin. Fitzroy looked good. Baldwin kicks towards the wing. First there Paxma Broderick. Under some pressure. Hand pass on towards Seacamp. 60 out. Fumbles once. Now he's got it. Kicks to full forward. Two North defenders fist it clear. But they fist it straight to Elliott. Sidesteps Clarkson. Goes for goal and puts it through. And the Lions rejoice now. They're at the threshold at the 29 and a half minute mark. They lead by seven points. 18-10-118 to the Kangaroos. 16-15-111. Crackers. Ooh, and lovely Jamie Elliott. I love to see a kid cool in a crisis and he balked he, he, a bit of ice ran off him as he kicked that goal lovely to see a young player start to come through and mature he, they needed that goal and he didn't let him down great bit of play Fitzroy the Royce by seven points coming up to 30 minutes in the final term so Tory gets the ball down to Elliott the man of the moment kicks the ball up towards the half forward line good time erosion as the ball bounces out towards the boundary Harding tries to keep it in can't do so but it doesn't matter I think the Royce are home Big James Manson on the boundary line a short time ago, egging the players on, giving them verbal encouragement. He's been reported and also has Mark Zanotti. Boundary throw in. Ashenko gets it out. Harding, no, it was Broderick Campbell out of the pack to wind. Here goes the Royce again, down towards Lynch. One grab, not the second. He might even soccer off the ground. Oh, no, he got his boot to it and it found the outside edge. And a little bit in it, it would have been a goal, and it's gone through for behind. Fitzroy by eight points. 18-11 to 16-15. Final score from the MCG, 23-17 to 4-15. And, uh, of course, the, uh, the Cats are well in front down to Cadinia Park. North with two out of the game since the first quarter, and perhaps it's told in a very tough match. From the kick-in, Rock takes the ball off the pack, drives the Kangaroos for another flurry forward, but it's fisted back Fitzroy's way, and fisted further on by Baldwin, straight to German from the centre, kicks the Kangaroos forward. Longmire's attempt fails. Eighth ground level, fairly over it. McAdam Shepherds, perhaps he should have gone in after the footy. And now the defenders come from everywhere and force a ball up inside the 50 for North. But I think it's too late. 31 and a quarter minutes gone. Another long quarter and Fitzroy in front by eight points. I don't think there's time for North to score twice. 119 to 111 at centre half forward for North knocked down by Ashenko, it's 40 out from goal Dwyer is there but the Fitzroy players again come in from all points of the compass to ball it up I think the Roys are home, they're led by 28 at quarter but North by 4 at half and 17 at three quarter time but uh, 
Fitzroy were in trouble when the rain came, but since it's gone, they're back in the business. The ball knocked down by Sartori. Out of the 50-metre line, the chance for Larkin. Larkin now is 60 metres out. A centering kick. Fitzroy players doubling back in towards the goal square. Off the pack, McAdam. A left foot snap is a beauty. Terrific goal by McAdam. Oh, a magical goal. Oh, a touch of magic about that. He's kicked four goals, four. And just a point the difference. 32-15 on the clock. Score check. North Melbourne, 17-15, 117. Fitzroy, 18-11, 119. The Roys by two points. Well, this game's just had everything, hasn't it? It's just been one of those crackerjack games that uh, has just been lifted and uh, been lifted because we've got two sides out there who really have just gone so hard at the ball. That was a superb effort by McAdam. 32 and a half gone. Can North work it forward for a goal? Seconds left. Fitzroy in possession. Broderick a hand pass. And it's cleared by guard to the wing. Marked by Lyon on the centre line. And he walks back very slowly. Pokes a pass to Satori. Dangerous. Clarkson spoils. Down to Blakey, kicks to half forward, North Melbourne mark to Fairley, a hand pass to Stevens, 65 out, kicks to full forward, it slides, it bounces, it's off direction, and through for a behind at the 33 minute mark, a point the difference, and suddenly it was almost stolen from Fitzroy, 18-11, 119, to 17-16, 118, the Lions by a point. The kick in by Hawking, up towards the middle, the ball goes through the pack, Let's see, it's kicked off the ground by Wind out towards the wing. Good time erosion, the clock ticking down. Now a player comes to it, it's a line of Fitzroy finessing there. Players come in again, high tackle on the Fitzroy player. But there's going to be a ball up between centre and wing. 33-36. That's not the score, that's the time clock. Fitzroy by one point. 18-11 to 17-16. There it is, the Royals have won. Fitzroy has won a very exciting game at Princess Park by one point. 18-11-119 to North Melbourne, 17-16-118. Joyous scenes here at Princess Park as we've seen so many times. They never cease to entertain us, Fitzroy, when we come here to broadcast a game. And they've won this game by a point when about halfway through the third term they looked certainly down and out and it seemed how far North Melbourne when the rain and the wind came. Fitzroy, 18-11-119 to North Melbourne, 17-16-118. What incredibly long quarters they were, and uh, here I was predicting a 30-minute final quarter. Seven goals kicked for the term. It went for about 34 minutes, and North had almost snatched it back from the jaws of defeat when the siren beat them. It's a one-point win to Fitzroy, and the Kangaroos' fourth defeat of the season. They've lost two in a row now, and yet, once again, they lose no friends because in four defeats, their heaviest losing margin has been just seven points. Three times beaten by a kick, and early in the year beaten at Waverley by St Kilda by seven points. So another extraordinary match. But it's Fitzroy's day. The crowd around the dugout, around the players' race, and they'll be celebrating long into the night. Let's go around the grounds. For all the final scores, first David Mackay at Waverley Park. Melbourne were 46-point winners out here. The final score, Melbourne 14-8-92.